the hip hop community or culture is pissed at Adam right Very now. Like, an intoxicated mind is a sober mouth. I was more shocked that <laughs> outrage. I ain't gonna lie, because mm -hmm. Wax works at Publix now. Are you dead ass? His hoop dreams, uh, just like mine. No, right. don't nah. stop nah. because of like the biggest thing to no, happen in hip hop. No, stop bringing that up. I'm just saying <laughs> after the, the battle and before the battle, it's different. <laughs> to ask people in North Carolina if they know underground boxing areas or underground bare knuckle. Oh yeah, you want to see? You want to yeah, see yeah, some? I want to see, see Fight Club in person. Yeah. We know the whole system of how Asians work. It's a tour bus that drops them off that comes from the airport. I'll, like like a dude yeah. that does security at a strip club is completely different from a dude who does security on Glenwood. I could give you a hundred dollar haircut. You couldn't. Uh, Damn, they're on my neck. You look at look at this. Look at yours. You've been doing this for Somebody months, got a my brother. Somebody got. A, right. That's what it is. Ultimately, though, he just comes across as entitled. Like people owe him a bunch. Because yeah. he struggled. And that's not how struggle works. <laughs> Bro, what yeah. Nigga, did you yeah. not watch Pursuit of Happiness? You keep getting sexualized by men on this show. I keep, hey man, I keep yeah. turning these niggas on. God damn it. You gay bait. I feel like more bigger bugs keep coming in. Here. Yeah, and it's crazy because the studio got better. There are women mobs. Ah! No. Oh. That All one, right, let's you? get the f out of here. Bum bum beat him, pebble. Welcome back to another storm of the D Homeroom <laughs> University <laughs> podcast. You see, this is the podcast about your favorite podcast. I'm your classmate, Tone Group. Jay Nobles. AJ the Menace. White man behind the boards. Yeah. Yeah, we are back in the building. Uh, make sure you like the video, do your due <laughs> diligence. Um, shout out to everybody that left uh, office hours. Hashtag office hours in the comment section. Mm -hmm. It's a section sometimes near the middle, but usually near the end. We, uh, you know, answer your questions or concerns about us, various <clears throat> podcasts. You know, y'all get to learn about our minds, our deepest secrets, things of that nature. Not too deep. That's what the Patreon's for. And the other shows. Correct. And shout out to Patreon. $5 for now. Y'all know the deal with that. And the subreddit, <laughs> Homeroom University, um, for the subreddit. Been saying we're going to get active. Been trying, but make sure y'all follow. Um, what trying you to build up shout a, out? Uh, a cold light following in uh, the subreddit. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We should shout out. What's going on in your life lately, nigga? Get personal. Nah, nah. I'm just saying, I felt like you was trying to go what somewhere. To we can you? go back to it, nigga. There's a couple places we can go. <laughs> I got the directions, nigga. What's good? Go watch the Patreon. What's up? Go watch the Patreon. Fuck? But, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm stuck right now for a second. My bad. Yeah, make sure you yeah, follow us. Yeah, where you at, nigga? Yeah, I'm tripping. Make you sure got your hand on your desk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make sure y'all follow us. Damn. Make sure y'all follow us on Instagram and all that good stuff, too. Uh, oh, and audio listeners, too. Uh, if y'all really want to support us, I know you love the uh, YouTube and viewing the new set. But if you want to catch it first thing in the morning, 6 or 7 a.m., somewhere in that time frame, you know, I'm just it, it should drop within that hour. Uh yeah, get ready for work, listen to <laughs> Homeroom University, you know, or whatever yep. you stream stuff on. And if you just, on. my bad, and if you just simply want to support, audio is definitely a way of supporting. Just play it while you in the shower or something. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a couple people that DM me that was like, yo, like, I just be playing the podcast just so I can support double time. He was like, I like YouTube premieres for real. Exactly. Yeah. But I want y'all to get that audio money. I was like, I appreciate I got you, that. you, nigga. You are savvy. I got viewer. that same DM. Yeah. No, the you YouTube, didn't. The YouTube, uh... The YouTube you premiere is, it is, it is a, a, a thing, you know what I'm saying? Damn, yeah. this nigga said you're not a fan favorite. <laughs> fan favorite nigga. Yeah, you thought you were special. <laughs> you uh, uh, that was a mass blast DM he sent, but yes, man. <laughs> 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 but who did he want to respond? <laughs> who did he really want to respond? That was a mass blast, buddy, but nah. I got it first. I, I, I that get, is hilarious. I, that is funny. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to jump right into... Um, fan page. He thought he was special. We're going to go into something light again, um, per usual, and then we'll jump into the good stuff. <laughs> Fair to Say is a Figmunity World show. We covered it last week. They just mm. started it. And we were only covering the roasting, and we're covering the roasting again because this battle is continuing. <laughs> it's a continuous so, saga. Yeah, it's yeah. a continuous saga. Now, I will say one thing, too, that um, as entertaining as I find the, the Lazar and his name... The, uh, his name is really Lazar? Laz yeah, that's the crazy part. I find so out what his name was. So the ball brother joke hit, just hit a lot harder. It did. It really did. It hit so much harder when I realized his name was Lazar. He got a Dominican And then the barber. other dude's name was... I looked it up because I titled it. Lazar that sounds biblical. I don't Lazar. know if you can fact check that, Lauren. Let me see. It's not like LeBron. Donnie. Donnie's, a, Donnie's a dark skinned dude. Liz, Lazar is literally the knockoff ball brother. So he sounds like, sound like an unathletic. So Lazarus? That's what he's thinking about. He said it sounds biblical. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lazarus. Yeah. 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 That's not your step. You made that's a risk. But uh, yeah, the, the, the roasting start seat. Now, y'all, as much as I enjoy this, 
I don't watch past it either. I don't. I don't go past. You know what's crazy? Why have Because you? you know we've been getting a lot of content, comments like y'all, y'all niggas don't watch shit and fool. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Let me just start really watching shit through. I watch this to like. 30. 47 minutes. That's what I did the first episode. Yeah, that's what I did. Like, yeah, the I, I first, watched the first one I watched like 30, 40. Yeah. So yeah. it's like everything doesn't need to be watched. Sometimes it's not good enough to finish. To, to finish. I was about to say, yeah, like, some, some, stuff, you know what I'm saying? some like, podcasts are great, but just not entertaining. Yeah. And yeah. there's a difference. Yeah, yeah bro. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's a good podcast. But the uh, the lady, I should have I should have got her name before this. Ella. Ellen. 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 Ella. She's good. Ella's good, yeah. She's good. She's really yeah. good. She, she, might, she's she probably the best. She comes from the yeah, it's not and even articulating clo- herself. Yeah, she's not even close. She comes from the uh ace boy. She's an ace, she's a she's an ace girl. Oh yeah, okay, so okay. well she is pretty fucking sharp. Yeah, she so uh point. yeah, let's watch this roast because it just doesn't stop. It does not stop, and it's uh it's a, it's pretty amazing. Building, yes, what's yeah. going on, y'all? I'm feeling good. Actually today. I bought a present for my boy. Oh man, this guy. Because no, because he he bought me something the other day, uh-huh. and I actually drank some. Here we go. Let's return the favor. Today. Here we go. Let's I'm see. Let's I'm see, y'all. Hungry. It's only right. I guess we got to return the favor. Oh, it's gift wrap. Because you're a bad bitch. Oh, oh my God. so <laughs> nigga, what? You know, look, I got the slashes and the eyebrows Yo, for you. Wait, no, you just slashed the eyebrows. No way. He really slashed the eyebrows. Wow. She's trying to get creative with it. Oh, so, oh my god! Oh shit! Let me see. Go to that. Look, back up he, a little bit. Look. Do the half screen. Side okay. by side. Y'all see? Look, boom. They light skin and everything. Look. Side by side. Okay. Yeah. I like that. My nigga got the bad bitch vibes with the Barbies. Hey, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, take your time. Trying to do me from the phone. Cause look, if y'all didn't know, last time, last time, last time, last time, I got him a gift. You know what I'm saying? I got him the um the. I got him the slim fast. You know what I mean? So he's trying mm-hmm. to return the favor, but yeah. it's crazy. You know why? Because I didn't know that Fair to Say uh-huh. brings celebrities on here for the first time. Because right. I mean, you guys seen that movie? Because we got Gilo. But hold on, hold on. Okay, go hold ahead. On. You guys, you guys seen that movie Planet of the Apes? Oh my God! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> apes. Together. You know what, man? He don't, he don't even need a costume. He, he, hey, he hey, just show up. <laughs> he just show up. The Planet of the Apes. <laughs> hey, look, man. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, let's continue the show. Let's go ahead and get to the next stop. That this. These fights are unfair. They are, bro. Yeah. The battles are unfair. Because <laughs> the light skinned nigga, it, it don't ever work. He kind of yeah. just like puts himself out there to get bullied. Bad broads collect Barbies. Yeah. I never knew that. You <laughs> say he an NLE chopper ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that shit instantly, a nigga gifts you a Barbie doll. That's that's crazy, dog. Yeah, he said you got And then put the slashes in the eyebrows <laughs> like you have. It's pretty funny. That's hilarious, bro. It's pretty hilarious. It's literally... That's hilarious. It's, it's, he had to go get funny. a razor and a Barbie doll. He that's really... He, t- he took that shit serious, it's, bro. It's like the low-grade Charlemagne and Envy. Instead of an ass... Yeah, it's a Barbie. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, that light skin, dark skin dynamic is, is gold. It's, it it's biblical, works. nigga. It just works. Cain and Abel yeah, were too... It gets old, though. No, it. This they is a fresh, seem like they're gonna remix. This every is time. a fresh incarnation, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, this. Well, they didn't bring up the light skin, dark skin relations. They do they that all it. the time. He just said you look like Planet of the Apes, and he said he's a bad bitch. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's just that's the the low blows. Like light skin niggas is the the girly pretty niggas. Yeah, dark skin niggas. Duh. <laughs> You're right. This shit is getting a little redundant. It is. Lie. It is. Because when, I mean, you, when you break it down, it's even like, yeah. on the even on the last episode, the first one that we covered, when he was like. You know, for my, you know, for my dark skin nigga, for my dark skin relations, I was like, oh man, so we're starting at such a like and, a low hanging fruit foundation for this joke. It can't. And, be and you got to be creative when it's it's the same thing. When you're gonna go there, it has to be. It has to be good. It bro. has to be creative. It's got to be good. And he you know just comes. I mean? He comes. Uh, I haven't seen a lot, but he comes across as a little corny. Just a little bit. Oh, I don't want to sure. throw that on him yet because I feel like that has to, like, you got to have a couple violations. Yeah, let it. We to have really to watch get enough to say that he's corny. That's what I'm saying. Oh, True Life was the show. Remember when I was saying he was on some sort of reality show? I don't know what it was. He's uh, a True Life nigga. And I do wonder, like. Let's pull this shit up. True and now, life. And now I wonder True Life, and he was begging for his bitch back. So I'm like, what was the episode Wait, about? What, what, uh, he probably what, lost it to a dark skin. What's dude. the theme of this show? Was this like a... Con- True life. It's like they cover so true life. Oh, I'm addicted to shit. to to something. True you know life. What I'm oh, true life. The, the show. Yeah. Nigga. Oh. That was the one that I told you that I had seen him on. That I what what was his uh hobby, I don't know. as they say. I don't know. 
I don't know what like the focus point of the episode was. <laughs> okay. I like slashes in my eyebrows. Because yeah. all they, <laughs> I'm addicted to Dominican barbers. That was great. Yeah, that would yeah. be hilarious, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Lazar, True Life. Uh, yeah, I don't even know. About the Leos fuck. and hookahs. And this is some shit that was on um, Reddit, too. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be, it was like two weeks ago at this point. It's going to be impossible to find. This is a pretty oh, good okay, era okay. of MTV, though. Yo, this nigga, it better not come out that this nigga was begging uh, over a white woman. That would be crazy. Yo, was that you down there? It was. Yeah, that wasn't me. That's oh, crazy. Wow. How you pop up when we typed in true life? Because we put Lazar. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um, Damn, you associated with light skinned niggas. Yeah, I know. But what else that? with this? So, so you watched about 40 minutes. Ella, Ella, <laughs> Ella, was, Ella was the sharpest, you said? Yeah. She, like, it was certain topics to where it's like, you wouldn't think that she should be this insightful on it. But she was. Mm. But they was talking about sports and shit, like uh, Bronny getting drafted. Gotcha. And it flowed pretty well. She actually had a lot of inciting things to say. She sounded more athletic than the light-skinned nigga. The one on the far right stat. No, the, the, the one that gets made fun of. Lazar. Lazar. <laughs> Lazar Ball. As you were watching it, <laughs> when I was watching the first episode, it wasn't an actual episode one, but like the first time we covered it. Yeah. Stat seemed like all his takes were extremely surface level from Twitter. Did it feel like that again, too? Yeah, uh, but for some reason, it works here. Because... She elaborates a little bit more. Light skinned nigga talks and kind of like doesn't really make sense sometimes. Yeah. And then the dark skinned nigga, he's, he's funny, funny as shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So him saying what he has to say, it kind of teased him up. Gotcha. Yeah. He'll say like what's what's necessary. Like, all right, yeah, this, he's gonna this, give us this, this the kind yeah, of It's sense. literally like a, a full course meal. That's what I'm saying. It, I mean? it flows pretty good. This, they this, just gotta this, get this lineup. Yeah, they just gotta get past, and we're gonna talk about it with another show later, but they gotta get past the like I'm new to podcasting and formality shit. Oh god. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a nigga telling me this is new to me, I just don't give a fuck. Shut yeah. up. Welcome to the show, guys. Yeah, guys. We have yeah. a wonderful surprise for yeah, you. Bro, yeah, bro. That, that, that is in the thumbnail. Yeah. I don't like that. You know what I mean? But, but I see one of the comments complaining. Um, I mean, this has kind of been a thing. This is a no jumper thing, too, and like fig immunity falls into this sometimes too. So, somebody was saying one of our comments on the clip that we put out, this show is trash and Fig Munity starts a new show every other week and then they all talk about the same topics. Mm -hmm. That is something that like Fig Munity does do a lot. Like, when Is you that have, hard when to you, do? Is that hard not to do? There's a lot of podcasts over there. Or it's a lot of different moving pieces. I feel like we do a good job. We have three shows come out every week. It's two shows and it's like, it's really two different styles. If we do it, like, but it's not that different of a style. So, so it's topic. a talent issue. No, it's a subject. It's a, it's a, it's, cura it's a curation It's a issue, demographic thing. It's a demographic thing. I think it's a curation. It's a, it's a curation thing to me. Yeah, what do you mean by demographic? It's both, though, because it's like, realistically, we are different ages. Right. So we are paying it. We pay attention to certain things that overlap, yeah. but it's certain shit that it's like, that y'all care about that we don't care about. Perspective will always about, be different. Yeah, about. yeah because all, we're so different. They're yeah. all pretty much like adjacent. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, God damn. It's supposed to be the new mic stand too. But yeah. they are pretty much adjacent in terms of the sensibilities. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, we smoke weed together, but you know, we debate on shit. Yeah. But there's a lot of things you think are cool that only you think. <laughs> that is, uh, it depends, nah, man. man. It depends, but. To the curation. I, I, just, I think it's just it's a show curation thing. Like, it's like every show they're going to talk about. It's same with No Jumper. Like, when they had all those podcasts on there. Yeah. They would have four to five shows a week. Everybody's covering the same fucking shows. I mean, the same topics. Uh, it's like every show we're carrying it And it's it not over. only that. It's like, I don't care for nobody's opinion on the topics because that matters too. Yeah. Like, back when Unless that was. Unless you're waiting for that specific person. Like, was there a specific person you was waiting on? Uh, during No Jumper days? Yeah, during the No Jumper days when they well, had all yeah, the shows. Well, yeah, because I knew they were all going to talk about the same thing. Like, uh, you just tune into the shows where you like the lineup the most at that point. But you're not giving three different reasons for people to tune into that show. Yeah. That is an issue. I mean, it's an issue when you have, like, a content house or a network and everybody's talking about the same shit. That, yeah. that, that's, a, that's a fucking problem. It's an issue for sure. That's, that's why. Issue. That's why you got to have, like, like, completely contrasting styles of shows. Yeah. Like, you get some whore talk. And you might have your economics podcast. Like it's easier to do when you when you're more category specific. Yeah. But when you both, when you just got a bunch of current event podcasts, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's only but so many events happening at one time. That's exactly. Fact. That's fact. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like I guess they are still early, as they say. But I don't know how you know. This seems like a real life podcast, but it doesn't seem like they get too personal. 
You know, yeah. I haven't heard too this many came, stories about like, man, I went to Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Right. And it was some bullshit. And this, yeah. and this came in the wake of No Jumper canceling all their shows. Yeah, yeah. So it was like No Jumper canceled all their shows. They took a picture and put the picture of the setup. And there's, this is supposed to have a rotating office. It's supposed to, but I, I don't think they should rotate. This I think they is, should stay right it here. It should stay right here. Yeah, right here. It blends perfectly well. You get Ella the full Stat, spectrum. You got Lazarin. the light skinned dude. You got the Hispanic looking guy. You got the dark skinned brethren, and then the 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 straight A black woman. Very marketable show. This yeah. is perfect. This is the Breakfast Club, especially if Kamala gets <laughs> not the radio show, but like uh, <laughs> oh, okay, the okay. movie. It's a bunch of uh, ragtag niggas in detention. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. This does give me this give me ISS vibes. <laughs> yeah, you got a special ISS, body. not detention. ISS in school suspension. Yeah. Uh-huh. It definitely gives me ISS vibes. But um, <laughs> we all retaking Jesus the quiz. Christ. Let's stay in fig community <laughs> though too, because uh, what about APP. Shame on you. They got a new set. That shit looks cold. That shit is. They nice. shitting on us. Yeah. Oh, it's not in the notes. Oh, you just okay. you it. said it reluctantly, though. I was about to say, yeah. was that your bias or just was that your Kill me quickly, AJ. What? Is it better than uh, the, Is it better than ours? Kill you quickly. Is it better than about? ours? They have their sign already, so yes. So they shouldn't notice. We, we don't we have still a, got we don't have you and the sign. And, <laughs> and Look at the sign is important. What is douchey? This is a nice little set. Nice and clean. I like the wood slats. That, or they got the they either painted them or they got black ones. Mm-hmm. Coffee table the, cold. The lighting looks better, but they also shot during the daytime. Yep. Coffee table's nice. Yeah, it's Couches. Smooth. This should, this is nice. It's this smooth. is nice. It's smooth. But they do this. That is one thing yeah. that Fig Munity and T Rail is gonna be good for is a good fucking set. set. Design, yeah. Back on fix set, phenomenal. Like them shits look crazy. Every mm-hmm. set that he touches looks pretty looks pretty dope. It could have been an <laughs> ar- architect for the hood. Niggas know where to purchase a fern. Yeah, AD said it was T Rail and Stet, the light skinned nigga from the other show that we just looked at. They do the set designs? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. It just be a and this is LA. So it's like you could just find somebody with that talent yeah. walking down the street. Looking homeless. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You could just phone a friend. A graphic designer, a feng shui artist. A one, lot of things are accessible. One thing I will say about uh, just fig community in general, y'all got to get these thumbnails together because they're driving me crazy. I've been trying to wait, but somebody, whoever is behind the camera, you're not taking individual pictures of people and you're taking screen grabs and blowing them up and we notice that. And it, I notice it's driving me crazy. Yeah. They be blurry as shit. Go Have to, you commented uh, yet? I'm commenting now. Okay. Uh, Verbally. How you mean like the clips? I respect that. The clips. Go to the yeah. clips. Yeah, it, go to it, the clips. like that on the clips. Um, yeah, it's like, nigga, Trevor, we see that, bro. Take a picture. At least and it, your And phone. it shows lack of consideration to the individual, I don't like right? That shit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, why, are you res- send, like, why are you sending me thumbnails that are screen grabs blown up? So now the they're blurry. Trevor do be working a lot. I think I heard everybody. I was just about to say. Trevor, like, he did, nigga produces like eight podcasts. He's on one. Yeah, you ain't seen his dashboard, pimp. Yeah. You might do the same if you was in his shoes. On this one? I can't really tell on the computer. Shout out to Keem. I know on the phone. I can see that shit clearly, nigga. Mm. It some might just be like your data plan. It's no, some of them. It's some no, of them. No, it's some of them. It's not consistent. It might be that Verizon, nigga. Problems well, wait, go back to- up. Problem going to Jason Martin. Like Jason. in the middle? Yeah, You're like talking about right, right there? Shit like that, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. There'll be a yeah. trend of a lot of that. Maybe okay. it's on the uh, Fig Munity. Go to, go to the Clips page. Okay. I know I went to one of them, nigga, and I was like, this is crazy. Shame on you. Look, man, not everybody got a sensible white man behind the boards. Yeah, nah, sometimes you got to import them from a foreign land like we did. Yeah, nah. Oh, I didn't know that. These are all screen grabs. Oh, go. these Wait, no, nah, go back up. Here. That is a crazy That one. looks like a screen grab of a screen grab below that one. It is. Right That's here. what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, keep, keep going. Mm-hmm. I'm, you want to go on actual clips, right? Like, all these. Yeah. No, 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 we're, we can stay right here. Oh. oh, shit. Yeah, like, even that one. That's blown up. Keen yeah. is blurry. Pun's blurry. Yeah. And oh. it's, a, it's crazy still a pun. This is something to critique, but, uh, you know, it is. You it's know. a little nitpicky. Like, it, it is a nitpicky. Like, the niggas don't like our thumbnails. No, it's not nitpicky. They want to do the. They want to be the best. So I'm. T- you know what and you gonna hold them to that standard? Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. This and is, shit, nigga, we it do sh- that. It shouldn't look like this. Yeah. What, yeah. That's it though. That's. I just wanted to bring it up just because I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it would stop. I thought it would stop. But it's been over a month, and I'm like, mm-hmm. you gotta address it. You can't let this shit yeah, go on any longer. Is, is this what we're about to? Is this about to be the standard? This, yeah. It's really nope. up to you at this point. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. no. It's if also they, one thing when you have like a lot of resources already. 
Like it should be easy yeah. to make that happen with like resources. Because we put some blurry ones up, but that's normally when I'm like rushing <laughs> to do them. When um, if Lauren can't get to them, I'll, yeah. if I do them, it's a little different. And you got to admit that. Yeah, you got to admit that. But it doesn't last for over a month. We're talking and about like we're talking about like five clips. It's out not of the consistent. Test. With like, it's not you, consistent. Yeah, if you yeah. see Jay Nobles in the thumbnail with a little wish on his face, it's probably because AJ did the thumbnail. Ah, uh, this is perfect. Uh, let's Low go. Resolution. Stay right here on this own page. Ooh. That text stone goes off on Adam Twenty Two. Uh, you gotta unmute yeah, me. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till it's finished. Yeah. But yeah, nah. But that's it, though. Studio look, I I mean. Almighty Suspect right now is at Back on Fig. Uh, Adam just interviewed Frosty the Snowman, I think his name is, who is. It's not even Almighty, winter time. Who is Almighty Suspect's, like. Mortal enemy. Pretty much. Yeah, <clears throat> pretty much. So now that he just did an interview there, now he's on Back on Fig. Obviously, I don't know if he's. It's 6.6K. They're probably going up right now, you know? So who knows? It's probably just getting Have started. Did y'all watch it? Nah, because it's premiering now. Are you talking about the Frosty interview? Yeah. Nah. Cause I don't, I'm not invested. Like I think Frosty and Almighty Suspect is some real LA shit. Yeah. To where it's like I just, I would have a, I would need to see a Trap Lord Ross documentary to care. I watched a little eat, bit of you it. You know what I mean? He was basically just talking about how like they came up and rapped together. Yeah. But inevitably, Almighty did what you know in Frosty's words was some bitch nigga shit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Stole yeah. his swag, stole yeah. his style, exactly. his lingo, things yeah. of that nature. Created differences. And then it, he was just at, at a certain point like, Adam, how do you know this nigga? <laughs> yeah, he was. Who's, who's the nucleus of his creation? No, like, he was. He who's was. the origin of this nigga, man? Bro, because yeah. when, when you hear them talk about each other and even when you hear other people talking about them, it feels like both of them had valid criticism for the other. Yeah. So it's like, he stole this from me. We created this, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, people be like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And then they get to the point where it's like, we a fuck that nigga. He a weirdo. It's yeah. like, hey, that's on you now. You exactly. know? So it's like. And it's crazy they have how. A, um, they have, it seems like they have a really valid reason to not be fucking with each other. Mm -hmm. But it's not enough lore for me to care about. You that's know kind of the bare minimum of beef. <laughs> Having a valid reason to beef. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't even look into it. Um about if they squabbled or like if they just hashed it out. Well, obviously you know, they're still beefing, yeah, but I don't know. Beefing, yeah. Like I forgot his attitude towards like just fighting the nigga, right. kind of getting it over with. Exactly. Yeah. It seems like that's the real way. To but I end don't it. even think I think that I don't think that a, a fight would even stop their shit. I think, I, I think so. I don't think so. I think a, a fight is how you end most uh, disagreements in LA. It's like a prayer. A thirty second squabble. It's like a prayer. You know what I mean? It's a good finishing touch. Yeah, because at the end of it, they all just be like, mm, I respect him. He squabble. Uh -huh. They don't have respect for each other now. So I don't think a squabble is going to gain respect. Mm -hmm. It seems like they've been beefing. I think they've been beefing for like over five years, bro. Like, I'm going to be real. It's just when niggas have been beefing that long, I don't think one fight is going to settle it. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's a long time to like actively not fuck with a nigga. That's a long time to have fought. Yeah. Yeah. So they the might, fact they, that it they didn't, might have fought three times already. It's still up. It's forever up. You know what I'm saying? It's Who like knows? a Rocky Balboa moment. Yeah, you well, know what I'm actually, saying? Yeah, Rocky and Apollo Creed. It's, it's just 37 it's not rounds. Meant to, it's not meant to end. Well, actually, in the interview, uh, there was a situation where it was like a party or something. He's in his car. Mm -hmm. He saw Almighty. Uh, I want to say his name. Almighty. He saw him uh, get out of a car in front of him. Yeah. And he didn't say nothing. Mm. It was just like he just continued, you know, doing his drugs. And now that there's always going to be those moments, right? So then now the next interview, if you bring it up, now when I jump back on the mic, if I'm on my almighty, you hear what that whole ass nigga said? Yeah. He said he saw me. He didn't do nothing. Yeah. You know what? You know, so it's like, mm, it ain't yeah. never going to stop, bro. He said he looked at me like John Wick. He ain't want a problem, nigga. Yeah. But let's jump over to this. Um, <laughs> Adam 22 versus everybody. <clears throat> yeah, I saw this. So recently, Adam Twenty Two did an interview, and he interviewed uh, one of the people that was there during the Black home Star. In, home invasion. Yeah, Black Star, the yeah. home invasion <laughs> and um, uh, murder of Pop Smoke. Did you watch uh, which that? Which was in three years ago at this point now. Did you watch that interview? I watched that interview. I did. It was very interesting. Yeah, Honestly, I did. I did watch that interview. A yeah. lot of the comments, you know, they were kind of not on his side. But keep that shit a band. If he was in a black and white thumbnail and um, on soft white underbelly. That shit would have hit. Yeah. Because he what? was he was oddly reflective. Yeah. In but in a in a bro. real in a real subtle and it's like nigga, I don't even really yeah. know, but you know, daddy issue. Well, bro. nah, it's like you when can he just, said that, I was like, wow. It, it it he was he felt it felt like he was thought about this. He really nigga, this yeah. he, he really thought about this. Nigga, yeah. it's the incarnation incarnation of like trauma. Like that's what we see. It's like, nigga, this is just 
a bunch of bad events. This is what a bunch of bad events can lead to. Yeah. Man, we, but I don't know. And if we I, was did gonna, you see it? I saw it. And yeah, if okay, we were going to yeah. get mad at Adam, like, yeah, so the world, how so, are we going to, yeah. how are we going to look at Vlad? Because if nobody's getting mad at Vlad, that means Pop Smoke oh, is no, more. No, people get mad at Vlad. Not, people get mad at not Vlad. Not really, though, but not, for the most part, it feels like Pop Smoke's killer gets a lot more flag than Tupac's killer. But to make your point even more pointed, nigga, like, I'm, think of a publication. Like, who interviewed Ted Bundy? All of these oh, yeah, serial yeah, yeah. killers back yeah. in the day, there's like extensive news reports of them sitting down with a Time white magazine. With, a, with a white journalist. Like, yeah. yeah, so why did you do it? And it's like, bitch, I'm crazy. Like, there's plenty of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the fact that they get on Adam about it, you know, it's like And then yeah, and just to like just to kind of throw that out there, like as a blanket statement or the overall consensus is hip hop is <laughs> I said the hip hop community or culture is pissed at Adam right Very now. Livid. Like they're livid. And it's yeah. the highlighting people is DJ Academics. I wouldn't say DJ Adamix is pissed. Taxone is pissed. And then um, Rory as well from the Rory and Maul podcast. And niggas is, is Rory saying, pissed like, or is he drunk? <laughs> He's sober this time, apparently. So, yeah. that, that's important. <laughs> that's yeah. important. We have, yeah. <laughs> you know, you get some more angry. Yeah. So, you know, um, but I didn't see this. Okay. So, no, no. Go to that, that video that was on Sorry. that homepage. No, no. The one that was on that homepage. Talking about on the go, no, go to the YouTube homepage. Go back. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. The more I'm thinking about it, that oh. interview oh, was overall, one of the like just realest conversations about a fucked up. Interview. I think we're gonna remember this interview for a long. I don't scroll down. I think we're gonna remember this interview for a long. That time. one. That's why I want to see that one because I literally that couldn't stop watching. Out. I couldn't because Taxstone <laughs> is on Taxstone is on um, Twitter Space right now. Now Adam did already say that Taxstone was like going in on him in the DM. Yeah. But he's on, Taxstone is on Twitter space right now as we're recording. Because what was it? Combat Jet Day? Who's the young lady? Yeah. That's Rocky Thunder. Um, And uh, he's on Twitter space right now, right? That was the one that, that was the one that you sent? It was Combat Jack. Uh, Combat Jet Day, right? Yeah. All right. So we're about to hear, uh, I guess, a piece of him Yo, going they uploaded off right this now. this immediately. Yeah. It's 30 minutes old, so. And he started expressing himself about me on podcast and- my thing is, right, what I really realized with this podcast shit, so for instance, right, yesterday, I direct message Adam, Adam22 from No Jumper, right? I say, yo, Adam, because he's been DMing me for weeks asking me to come on his show, but I was not answering that nigga because I'm, I'm actually trying to stay away from that cloth of white people. I know that cloth of white people, they want me to <laughs> So I'm trying to stay away from that shit, right? So, Adam. Yeah. When, when this dude, so when I see the Pop Smoke interview, I seen people talking about it, the um the the, the 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 dude who killed Pop Smoke. And I'm like, you know, I don't know the Pop Smoke when I was in jail. In 17, my friend Bear used to call me with Pop Smoke all the time. So I know the kid was young or whatever, you know, whatever it might be. But my point was when I told Adam, I said, Adam, it was tasteless for you to interview this dude's killer. And he said, How different is it with interviewing you? So I said, oh, it's a big shit. difference. The difference is, is that I was scheduled to do your podcast way before I had an incident. I was coming to L.A., right? And you was interviewing me because I had a better podcast than you. Remember? You was up there saying I had the best podcast on your podcast, right? Mm-hmm. That's why you interviewed me. You didn't interview me because I, I did something to somebody or somebody said you didn't interview me for that. And when you tried to bring up anything like that, we didn't speak on that. I never bragged about doing anything, no harm to anybody. Right? I've never done that. So you got this kid up there talking about I don't regret doing what I did. And I didn't, I, my whole point was Adam. This kid has nothing to do with hip hop. He took somebody away from hip hop, and you're supposed to be a podcast that speaks on hip hop culture. But I said now I know you're not a podcast that's speaking on hip hop culture. You're a podcast that wants to just exploit black culture. So, you know, it's not about hip hop for you because I said, Adam, if a boom right now killed you on Hollywood Book Boys, I not have a platform for him to ask why he did that. You know what platform speaks to him? The news. You understand? If Channel 12 News, if Channel 2, if Channel 7 wanted to speak to that kid, then that's a proper interview. That's not an interview for you to give. So I said, I said, another thing you got to understand is the reason I haven't been responding to you is because you have that old blood dude on your show all the time. And this dude is up there talking about he got sex tapes with Nipsey Hussle. He's up there talking about he has all this shit about a dead person. Now, this dude has a wife. He has kids. He has a baby mother, a mother, brothers. 
speaking falsehoods on people and trying to hurt people that's alive. You don't no matter the dead person that you want to hurt the people that's alive in his family. Then he said, bro, I never was out here to hurt nobody. Speak brash, you understand? I could cut ass, but when I realize that somebody's yeah, offended or hurt, I could. I was about to say, yeah, obviously he has like that some, was that was a savage response, Adam. Some hard man. feelings. No, yeah. that was a savage response, bro. But it, it is he basically said, like, nigga, I just interviewed a hoodlum. I interviewed you, nigga. <laughs> that is it. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. But bro, the that's way, crazy. That's but crazy. Tax Stone's rebuttal makes perfect sense as well. The only thing that, like, I don't, I don't see how he's deciphering between these two. Tax said, if CBS Seven wanted to interview the nigga, that's yeah, cool. he almost made it but seem it, like he wasn't qualified for it. But yeah. So, like, yeah. what is the difference? Because, like, I mean, like, I understand if certain, you don't look yeah. at him and see a real journalist. I mean, you know, he probably don't see that in the mirror, but. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, he is that. That's a media outlet, right? But right. It's not right. a news outlet, though. Or, yeah, the for, it's the form of media. It is me, news. That's, you know what the difference between it, media and news is? I don't no, think there's much. Podcasting of a isn't a, like a journalistic a expression, a you know, for like newsworthy shit. The problem is like news wait, and media what? has become media and entertainment. Okay, wait, hold on. I know the difference real quick. Podcasting, if it was just if he was just dropping his interviews and shit like that, No Jumper is also a news site because they're. Dropping hip hop news on their Instagram, their Twitter, like they are people are going to them for news. So they also yeah, that's outside that's of very true. outside that's true. of just true. dropping podcasts, they are a news platform as well for this branch of news. Some topics but, I get for LOI is because I saw academics. the story on those academics jumping. is a streamer that's and true. he's also a news outlet. That's true. Yeah, but what it's news, but what tax was I felt like tax was talking about like journalist. Like it's a difference. It's a difference between news and journalists. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't. I didn't. I don't necessarily agree with what Tax is saying because he's pretty much saying that if that's the only like this type of person can only be interviewed at like a 60 minutes or that doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would they? They wouldn't even. They're not even interested in that story. They don't even know. They don't even what know who, set he's claiming. They don't even know what, who Pop Smoke is. That like that's it. Just wouldn't happen. Shit, he didn't even know who Pop Smoke was. Who? <laughs> uh, what's his name? Blackstar. Yeah, allegedly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, he didn't right, even right. know who the fuck he was. He thought right. he was a model or something. Yeah. So, but now, when I first watched it, I was like, my first inclination was like, man, this is kind of fucked up. But eventually, I was like, ah. All right. So, yeah, why do you and, think and a, the whole outrage? Why do you think that's the first inclination, though? Because I feel like a lot of people they didn't they didn't just get past that that feeling. You know what I mean? They didn't think about it because oh. Yeah, that one's kind of big, right? Yeah, yeah. some other kind of crazy. That shit got some body to yeah. it. That shit casted a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> but um, nah. Um, so the reason why I felt like that is the obvious. Adam has a history of doing scandalous shit against black people, so it's like, all right, man, this nigga just at it again. But I had to one. I don't. I didn't know Pop Smoke, so I had to stop taking it like personal for some reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But. Somebody in a weird way had to do it, and I didn't. I didn't end the interview. Yeah, I didn't up. end the interview with like, man, we didn't need this. Like in a weird way, yeah. I was like, oh, I know what you mean. There yeah. were some moments where I was like, all right, we're seeing, we we're, we're, see we're literally seeing what seeing, happened seeing. before everything. And I need to you hear. I mean? if it, these it are the type of niggas it was running around. Paced, I need to hear. Yeah, if these are the type of niggas running around doing things like that. I need to hear how their brain is working. Not always, though. Not always, but I need but, to hear a, sub, a couple of them. And they didn't glorify anything. Exactly. They didn't. They definitely did It was didn't. no point in the interview where he was like, man, you a legend out here in these streets, nigga. You, you kill pops. Well, that was, a, that was another thing, too, that Tax had brought up just now. And I don't know if Tax watched the whole thing because even though he said he's not sorry, it didn't It didn't come from a... I'm not sorry for the what for the fuck I did. It didn't come... There was a. I did, it didn't feel like it, was it came from even. That. Even when he said it, I understood what he meant, and then I he kind of went on to explain it. Like, yeah, sorry doesn't mean the same thing as I apologize in his mind. Yes, even yeah, though that yeah. sounds stupid, like being sorry for something is different than like right. my fault. It's, right. it's literally like so when you say because he said I wish it didn't happen. I wish it didn't happen. I wish it went another another way, but I'm not sorry for anything that I did. He literally said, I'm not sorry. I feel horrible about what happened. Like yeah. he, he took it to the next level. Yeah, There's no yeah. difference between a veteran speaking and this nigga. Like this is a soldier's mind. Yeah, pretty much. Like yeah. it's not like it's like shit, nigga, squeeze first. 
you know, be kind of sorry later. Self self preservation. Because, yeah. You gotta survive. And context matters so much in this situation because it's like yeah, we just looking real. at an interview of Pop Smoke's killer. We're not looking and at it's not even what we, technically we're not killer. looking at what actually happened was Pop Smoke's robber that ended in a murder. Right. Because yeah. in the whole interview, you was Who, like, nigga, that was never our intentions. We weren't trying to come and kill a nigga. Yeah, yeah. it was supposed to be a home invasion. I low-key yeah. don't even think he was a person that bought a trick. No, he, he's not. No. Nah. Even though that's not confirmed. Yeah, it's not. That's the not one, confirmed. The one no that way, actually is the one was. that did it is still in jail right He doesn't now. even speak like he was. He does speak like he would pull a trigger though, for sure. Like he would, but he he didn't or speak. It he didn't him. speak like he like this was what happened. You know what I mean? But he also didn't answer that question in the interview either. But if you read some of the articles, of they didn't say who it was, and he never admitted to anything in the interview. This is another thing. So when the outrage happened, when like all these people were like outrage, I was more shocked that niggas were outraged. I ain't gonna lie, because mm -hmm. I was like, who else was gonna do it? Somebody was going to do it. This was going to happen. <laughs> Vlad. But, but so yeah. it's like. Either one. It's like there's no but way. But in 30 this, years though. No, no, no. no. Uh, hot. Quickly, off the press. Yeah, and then he would have did a rewind two months from now. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. When the yeah. Pop Smoke, Pop Human song dropped. Yeah. yeah. So it's like I was surprised that uh, people were surprised that he did it. I just felt like who else would do it? But I, I get what you mean. But. Is there validity, like so much validity in what they're doing that maybe they're just the first ones to consistently try to break through and doing this? Like you think later on this type of interview from uh, media, hip hop media outlets is going to be more received? Like more well received? No, and that's the funny thing. People, Not AK was talking about how like this is going to set a bad precedent, uh, precedent for like, you know, the next time a rapper gets shot, you know, a nigga is probably going to want to interview him. I don't think that's going to happen at all. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna. Like it doesn't happen now. I feel like it's gonna stay specific to two platforms, Adam and <clears throat> Vlad, or you know whichever other one. Is this Terrence Gangsta happened? Williams is on a tour right now. Exactly. And his whole tour is about the forty people that he killed. Exactly. If this would, he's going to everybody. Say cheese, all that. shit. And he didn't even kill anybody that's like a pop smoke. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was if a, this, like local. Drug if this interview would have happened on Soft White Underbelly, nobody bats an eye. Them At they, all. That nigga yeah. interviews rapist. Junkies, he does. inbreds, Every, nigga, like, everything. Yeah. At a certain point, how do you justify that shit? But he don't ever really get smoked for from what I've seen. It's only hip hop. I don't know, man. It's like I don't know why we, we're acting we, surprised that shit like this is happening. It's but, just, especially with some of the music. You know what I'm saying? Like in terms of Adam and doing just, it, just just in general, just what's celebrated in hip hop anyway, like. This street thing. So, like, another thing is, like, you're taking advantage of the youth. It, uh, Blackstar had a manager in there. Yeah. Like, he was not just, like, some young kid that was like, yo, I just did my thing. I just got out. Let me go. He was, it seemed like he was well represented and tactical with all of his answers. He, he would have been, like he would have been fine by himself. Yes. It didn't feel like he was you somebody. You he held his own in that interrogation room. It didn't feel like he was somebody <laughs> that. Next question. Was being taken advantage of at all. To me, no. I didn't get that. But what do you mean? And people? You know what? You remember that there was a video of him at the No Jumper store, like really popping shit. Like nigga, you say my name or one, I want bread for my cloud and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It almost feels like that was two different people. Yeah, he was pressing shit up there. He was I don't even like who the what the fuck was that about then? That was him. Because how do you go from this to like having the interview happen? He just kind of bullied his way into it. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a real cordial conversation to have bullied your way into sitting down there. Yeah. He even thanked him at the end for the opportunity. He was like, you know, a lot, nah, a lot of niggas go to no jumper, man. Appreciate it. Because yeah, apparently he got Adam... paid 75, 7,500. Not bad. Allegedly. Hmm. But what do you mean Where by you like hip hop is not uh, Reddit? You know, that's, that's loose. Mm -hmm. But he had the. He definitely got paid. There's no question about that. It looked that. like it, the nigga got, he's a robber. But <laughs> to to your point of like you you were surprised like what do you mean you were surprised? We celebrate. I still we feel, celebrate. We celebrate. We do celebrate the violence, but at the same yeah. time, I don't think it's surprising to have a certain amount of respect for our legends that have passed. Like, I, I it's almost like what Ryan Garcia did, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not the worst thing somebody said, but we should still vilify. Like, you shouldn't get away with that just because that's not the worst thing somebody has said. Who should, who's getting away with something in this scenario? If we celebrate the violence in the music and we really love it and we enjoy it, why are we villain? We're, why are we celebrating that? But then when I want to hear them off a track and just tell me some shit, why is that an issue? Because it's too real. 
I think too real for a lot of people is just it's like. It's, but when you t- but we know it's real. We know them. The, we know we like, know it's real. But it's like still, we, it's like still when we heard thing. those Chicago songs. We also heard the news say fifty people were shot at this weekend. So, but the thing is, the eight oh eights—that's a real thin veil over that over that newscast. Yeah, you don't plus, really see that part because you too busy jamming to the fucking. Sh- and plus, that's art. Like, it, nigga, the day God comes, you think people are gonna be like. Well, I knew this was going to happen. I read it in the Bible. No, niggas going to be running for their life. It's not going to be like, it, just because, like. <laughs> you understand what he's saying? I, I, thought, I, I thought I explained that correctly. Because uh, I was confused too. And then I looked but, at his face and now I felt insecure because I was like, you look no, like, no, keeping idea. up with this but, shit. Uh, to yeah, your I'll, point. I was just, uh, I wanted his confidence to stay up there. Just <laughs> keep going. But to your like, point, okay. I don't think, uh, I don't think those two <laughs> connect at all. Like, just because you uh, glorify it, oh, but you want to be sad when a nigga dies? Like, right. nigga, yes. Like, because not every <laughs> yeah. rapper raps about killing people. Like, that's not true at all. Yeah, but, we're, we're, t- but, do... we're talk- but we're talking about, we're not talking about Chance the Rapper going to, like, Chance the Rapper catching a body and then, it's the, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're talking way. about somebody who, we're talking about somebody for, who was... Gang, gang. They rapped about it. They, you know, what he I'm saying? he also like, didn't kill people. Like Pop Smoke wasn't a, a killer. We like, don't know yeah, that. He made. We drill don't know music, that. But which he, was, he made drill music, which was a little violent. It was a little violent. <laughs> drill music is violent. That's full, why. Full, I, and that's why I love it. It, it, it. it was violent. Yeah, he you know created I mean? violent. He like, created like, violent dance parties. But uh, to his point, it's kind of like why we have raw sex. Like we know the consequences. But yeah. ideally, it's so much fun while we're doing it. It's like, fuck the consequences. What so, about so, the so, person who would say that we're just telling recounts of our life and how we came up? And that's what I was about to get. It is. It can. Yeah. That's what that's, most, a lot of, especially nowadays, are saying. It's that. an artistic expression. Granted, it is also a business. Rap, rap, shoot a gun, kill a nigga. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I still don't, I don't think that's a good reason to say, like, oh, well, he died. You live by it, you die by it. Like, no, not at all. Like, it's. Because isn't the interview the same thing? Like, I'm telling a recount of how yeah, I actually exactly. got here. Yeah, that's, what, that's why like I'm saying I don't life. understand the issue. It's just a different medium, but it's right. the same thing that we fuck with. It's too weird. And just like you said, I'm, if he was on Software Underbelly, nobody would give a fuck. Yeah, right. Yeah, nobody right. would care. It's the right setting for that. But, but I think. Yeah. But the fact that the idea of that. We should have some respect for the legends. Like, I don't think it should just be straight heartless if, like, you know, a nigga that raps about shooting and killing niggas die. What like, if Gucci it, Man, if Gucci man die... I think it's straight heartless for everybody. I think it's... I feel like it's pretty Dis- consistent. And in you, our community. You think it's disrespectful to the person to interview, like, the, the killer in that instance? Because you keep talking about this having a certain respect for legends, so it's like, we, we, can't, we can't tell the full story what happened out of well, uh, and my admiration. That, he, for this. We were talking about the human level of like the empathy. That's a journalistic idea. Like what? that's that's two different like spectrums of like that's two diff- That's emotional. But in terms of like journalistic view, I mean, it's like somebody's gonna do it. And like I said, I didn't feel. I didn't feel like I wasted my time. Like I said, I didn't feel like I wasted my time after I got done. Yeah, but what we, we was talking about is... I think we all uh, watched the interview, one. That's one of the biggest things. We all watched the interview... Round and of it, applause. And it didn't feel as savage. Yeah. It didn't feel as savage as it's being... Especially because out. there were points in times where Adam was like, well, it seems like you're kind of wishy-washy with this apology, dude. I'm kind of getting some mixed feelings about it. Like, it was points in times like... Well, uh, what you were saying? Nah, he wasn't saying it like that. He was pretty much he was pretty there, much saying I'm that. No, he, no, he, he was did. saying no. He was saying that in the position that you are in, like you, you can't be remorseful if you're a gangster. It seems like it feels like if you're if you show too much empathy, people say you're a bitch and all this other shit. And that's when he was like, no, no, no. Like let's be clear. Like I'm not sorry about what happened. I'm not sorry for what I did, but I wish it didn't happen. You got to understand. Like he said that <laughs> about. Three to four times throughout the whole interview. Yeah, and the like, first right. time he said it, Adam kind of was like, "Well, you're not. That's a." What he said something specific. He was like, "That's a crazy thing to say." Like, yeah, he, you're, he, you're he, not a remorseful. Yeah, yeah. He, there was a moment where he was kind of like, like, "It was funny because I'm like, damn, did 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 Adam just like question somebody else's morality?" Right. Yeah, that was kind of weird. He was like, yeah. "Come on now, nigga, you just come back, coming yeah, from it's, Adam." It's a little crazy. It's, I was just so shocked at how many people were pissed at Adam. Why? 
I don't. I just thought. You, but honestly, I just thought if you were, up, if you were a betting, who else was if you it? were a betting man, you would see it coming, kind of. And you was like, all right, let me put money on there being outraged that Adam Twenty Two killed Pop, uh, interview Pop Smoke's killer. Well, this is the you thing. would put your money on the fact that the people thing, would be upset about that. What blows my mind is that like, if we're talking about like Adam's morality, which we can all say like based on his lifestyle is questionable to a lot of people. It's fluid. It's fucked, you right? <laughs> yeah. So it's like. Of all the people, this feels like the easiest decision for him to make. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody else might be like, right. fuck no, fuck no, fuck no. But it's like, okay, even if Vlad has grown, like, maybe Vlad was, like, worse with his morality on the type of people he would platform and stuff right. like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't feel like Adam is at that point yet. You know what I'm saying? To where it's like, literally, who else would he go to? This might be one of the better times to do what he did, too, because it wasn't, like, as fresh of an incident. The nigga's been free for 11 months. Yeah, so oh, it's he's not been like, out for eleven months. Yeah, so it's not like he oh, got I thought out. He just got out like a couple weeks ago. Nah, nah, bro, he's been out for eleven months. He said he went to college. He was living the complete square life. Oh, yeah. that's right. He did say that. Shit, I missed that. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, like, nah. would this have been worse if he did this right after somehow? For sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. Why does Can- it feel like right after though? Because we only care about him now because of the interview. Because he just started popping up. Yeah. He started yeah. popping yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I think what happens is your mind paints the rest. Of the headline, when you see Pop Smoke kill an interview, you're thinking, oh, he just got out. Yeah, like that. Yeah, fresh. Yeah. Like we've been right. waiting Even on though this. I heard him say 11 months, that sounds like he just got out two days ago and it's like he's in a no jump receipt yeah. within 72 hours. Nigga, like, that that's how it feels. He's like, already almost got his ankle monitored off twice, nigga. Yeah. More but more. let's watch. Uh, <laughs> I will say nah, one thing, though, too. Like, okay, like in my mind, Adam was going to do that regardless, or somebody else is going to get it. Uh, like, I wonder who else was going to do it. Because I don't know who's going to do it. I, but I will say that. Nigga, yeah. anybody. But I will say that. Uh, Honestly, Adams, nobody would. Adams. Yes, they would have. Nah, I'm going to be honest. Because I'm thinking about it. After He got paid to do this. I don't think anybody. Somebody, he Adam said that somebody else was going to do this. Somebody was going to pick this interview up. No academics, academics was like, nigga, your manager hit me up. I was like, Ugh, I would never do this. Oh, they were oh, shopping right. around? Yeah, they were shopping them around. Mm. That's what academics said in the stream. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. This nigga was going to get his interview in. It was like, it's, it was going to happen. He allegedly got offered. There is no way somebody involved with the Pop Smoke murder that's looking to do an interview was about to send out 100 DMs or however many platforms are, 10 to 15 and one didn't say yes. 7,500. Even if Adam said no. 7,500 was the low ball offer for him to speak on this. He said that he got like a documentary like contract that was for like a... A large lump sum. Right. So he was going to do it either way. I want to say a million dollars, but I don't want to just throw that out there. Somebody yeah, was going to platform him. Somebody was going to platform him. Yeah, I just thought it was funny that everybody was re-questioning Adam morality. But that... I do... I agree with you on, like, your overall thought on this, but I don't think that the whole somebody was going to do it anyway argument is better. You know what I mean? I Well, the only reason because I keep... The just, only reason I keep bringing that up is just because I... It does kind of like, even though, like, let's, I guess just, just to make it be known, if he asked me to do an interview, I wouldn't have done the shit, right? I'm just, I don't have no interest in it. But I know that certain things are just going to happen. You know what I mean? Like, people are in these outrage and in an uproar off shit, some shit that's just always going to happen. If something like this happens and he wants to do an interview, somebody going to platform him. Whether it's you or not, it's going to happen. Mm. But it's, and I also see why, uh, and I also see. I feel like why Adam held that Kodak Black interview a little bit longer because I feel like that those pictures got posted a little bit over a week ago, and I thought that interview was going to be out by now. But I think he was waiting to get this out the way because it was like you know sweet with the sour kind of thing. Because it's like we're happy to see a Kodak Black interview, kind of maybe, maybe most people. I mean, it's Kodak. Does that make yeah. sense? Like yeah, people a little people little Kodak. I know they're, what you mean, but it depends on what they're going to hate me for this. I know they are going to hate me for this. Let yeah. me have something in the tuck. Let me at least give them something yeah. that, 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 that I know they want to yeah, see. Yeah, whether they yeah. f- whether they hate me or not, yeah. niggas want to see yeah. a Kodak Black yeah. interview. If he, well, he should have done the sandwich method, did a good one first. Flip, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> now, do you think that Adam got a good return on investment? 7500 For sure. For sure. Oh, hell yeah. Hell How much yeah. you and think then he made eyes. Let the Jewish calculator and you start what, going on. More than that. I don't know, because I haven't looked at none of the views. Okay. He's going to do He's gonna do at least... At he's gonna do, he's gonna do at least fifteen. He's gonna do at least twenty, twenty thousand okay. off of clips, if not more. I feel like twenty thousand might be lowballing it. Mm-hmm. The more people get mad at it, the more the more the clips are gonna. He go censored up. the blunt. Yeah. Like after every like nigga, it was the no jumper logo was moving. He was like nigga. I don't yeah, that know. shit. Yo, they had yeah. to curse it perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they made sure that shit was yeah for sure. Was, Matter of uh, fact, 
And let's keep everybody in here. Let's look at uh, Rory had something to say about it. Rory said, fuck that nigga, bro. The killer yeah. or Adam? Adam. Hmm. Just uh, on an integrity level? Yeah. He said, yeah. It, he said it's disgusting that this happens. A uh, New York native back, said up. it's disgusting it happened. Uh, 922 under fire, possible killer. What's that link? It's a Chig's video. Okay. Uh, okay. Do Rory Adam 22 and search. This is on a Twitter space from last night, which was Saturday night. Do spaces. Oh, it's, the, it's right there. It's the yellow one. That third right. one, yeah. Matt Hoffa would definitely not interview this nigga, right? I nope. Don't I don't know. I don't think he could. Let's start from the He's from Brooklyn, Brooklyn too, though. I think Pop from Brooklyn. Started from the beginning, oh. for sure. Nah, that wouldn't happen. Enemy territory. He'd give him a bad haircut. Yeah. <laughs> My so friend you mean breaking up between Adam 22 interviewing the killer of Pop Smoke. I would argue this is way, way just- different between Bridget and Mandy having a podcast breakup and both of them being my friends and me dancing. Yes, you are correct. I'm I saying Adam- somebody died. Somebody's child was murdered and then they put the killer on a microphone for bullshit. Way different than Bridget and Mandy breaking up. So don't do the dancing thing with me right now, Dave. I'm not dancing. I'm, I'm giving you insight into why this is Something that revolves around layers and layers. I don't know why I got to ask. You didn't answer my question, and it was about something way more trivial than this. Somebody died. <laughs> um, like, that was just a, a podcast breakup. That was something that I think everybody was writing was on the wall. I didn't even push the issue because I knew you was holding back. It's cool to say but, fuck Adam, bro. I've been in the situation I, of just sometimes you got to say fuck people. It's cool. Just say fuck Adam. It's fine. Say it, Dan. Like it's, it's right. fine to say. It. How do you feel about it, Danny? Like it's cool. What are your thoughts on it? Like, you know that do you nasty. agree that it's you know that corny? Crazy. You know, shit is above just YouTube clips. Like, come on. I don't know. I mean, Adam, it is. I was. I was. you on it? No, I'm, I'm tired. Same. Um, it's twelve thirty. Um, but yeah, I, so I, I obviously I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so like, yeah, Rory's energy. So I don't is feel like, like debating, bro. Yeah, Rory's energy with this is like, <laughs> I wonder if this is going to be Sweet. a consistent energy between a lot of people because since it, since there are people like, I wonder if he's like you could. It's like you have to. We have to choose a side right now on some fuck Adam shit. I think that's what's happening. I wonder if that's going to be happening. That's the energy Rory has with Danny. Okay. Where he's like, it's cool to say fuck Adam, bro. Like. This, this is also the but, uh, energy that Twitter Spaces is inciting. That's like, true. That's where you bring that energy. He did also say that he had already said in his mind, fuck Adam before this happened. Which is a big, that's important. Which is, yeah. Because so nobody, yeah. nobody who's saying anything about Adam right now didn't already feel this way before. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, This right. is just another like instance to like, all right, yeah. you know, another layup. Bro, how many, talk in, shit how many Adam instances do we need to before we're like... It's just surprised at the outrage that's so consistent. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, Adam <sighs> has done countless things like this that, like, we've been pissed at, right? Should be expected at this point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's yeah. just why it's kind of... It's almost like it's almost like niggas have, like, that um that motherly hope that a son is eventually going to get her shit together. Get his shit together. I guess, I guess so. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. You don't, she don't want to deal with the reality he's gonna, that he's, he's about. He's, he's going to grow out of this. Yeah. And it's yeah. also... It's just a phase. Yeah. It's less expectation because he's not a part of the culture for real. He's, you know... Because he's white. That's the, really the biggest issue is the fact he's that he's a pagan. White. Yeah. It's but less it, expectation it, and it's more contrast. We see it like it's just more visible. Yeah. This white guy that looks like a hell's angel is talking to... Is it because he already isn't liked, though? What if it was somebody think, who was like actually liked? Well, but nobody's talking about they would Sage. be unlike. Nobody's ta- have ha- nobody has any flack for say cheese right now, right? And he has Terrence Gang- Gangsta Williams up there, literally on a tour talking about the forty people he killed. We, so it's like that's not and, like there's no know, outrage. But you know what's crazy cheese. at all? So what, it's like what's even likeability does probably play a factor. Go ahead, my bad. But what's even more surprising about you being shocked at people's reaction? I forgot it. Sorry, I it's gone. It's mm. gone. That's one of those. It, it was it one of those. Went, it, it was a lot of mental gymnastics to get it up. It would have went to a perfect place, and you try better next time. But see if you can, you know, tell something. Like that. <laughs> I do. I, nah, but oh, I'm nah. surprised that you surprised that people are surprised. Put it that way. Oh, okay. And the Terrence, you see that, that it was it was a lot. Yeah, it, it was a lot, lot to get that off. Lot. Yeah, yeah. And with the Terrence thing, he wasn't. He didn't kill 40 bystanders for uh, for all intents and purposes. 
like, elaborate. He okay. It wasn't like forty robberies going wrong. You're so right. it's it's a little bit it's a it's a difference. He it wasn't a lot of innocence. and granted, I haven't watched any of his interviews in a long so time. The life value matters. Which I, is, which, the occupation, of, which is hypocritical, though. It is, but if if the life value matters, you know what I'm saying. If these are just forty motherfuckers that we don't know. It's whatever, but, we love, but, 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 but we love pop my smoke. Grandma but let's be honest. Crying be about, my grandma though. crying about getting robbed is different from a robber robbing about crying about getting robbed. You get like what I mean? Ro- like, a, yeah. like a criminal getting robbed. It's, it's a different level of like, nigga, you shouldn't be crying. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Nigga, even a, a little white girl going missing for decades, that's a, like a sadder news story than a plane getting blown up or something. We'll talk about that plane for maybe a couple of weeks, but we'll be looking for that missing white girl forever. And oh, that's yeah, been, yeah, yeah. you know true. what I mean? Oh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just in true, terms true, of true. how America's going to run with it, right. which matters more. It, it's, a, it's a, when you talk about the and amount Adam's, of lives lost, and Adam it has doesn't been, really weigh up the same, but little white girl, little white girl. And Adam's been doing scandalous shit for forever. I mean, and f- honestly, I feel like this is the f- first scandalous shit he's honestly done in a minute. Like letting, you know, the black dude, you know, Humble your girl. That's one thing, but how long ago? That's not that? even. I don't know. It feels like forever, though. Honestly. Yeah. It feels like forever, and that's not bad for like black like society. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wonder how long Linda mm-hmm. thinks it's been. <laughs> Time, um, at least twelve let's stay years. On, uh, You're gay. <laughs> Something had to make. Yeah, right. it's funny. So let's stay with Rory. We uh, we'll stay with Rory. So Rory was also on Twitter Space recently, and. Uh, uh, he said he was drunk when he was talking to me. So, this is honestly it. We probably should just listen to it. Don't it do is. that. You sound like a victim right now. Why, why are you taking that up? You know, he was, well, he, I'm, I'm milking it. He was drunk and belligerent. I'm milking it. I'm milking it because <laughs> he you wasn't know, being rational. I did. I just thought I was so polite, and and you know, I just couldn't believe that that white man Chill attacked out. me like that. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? You telling me this nigga was tipsy while he was talking to you like that? That's crazy. Did he bro. call you out of your name at any point in time? I think he did. I just didn't hear it. That's all. Good lord. Yeah. You were so you were so traumatized. You couldn't I was. Even, I couldn't believe he was yelling at me. Couldn't react. To I the looked moment. up to him. He put us on. Rory, Rory, this is one of your forefathers. Yeah. What nah. the fuck? What am I doing? I don't know. He's nigga. My, my forefather's yelling at me. What am I supposed to do? I, I didn't I don't even know if you want me to say this, but we've had talks. <laughs> yeah. You talked about down the beard a little, a little yeah. red, nigga. I did. I, t- I said I, I really wanted to walk in them footsteps. I can't believe he got like this off of sparkling water. <laughs> you was just bumping this album. <laughs> yeah, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Roy. I was a little drunk. This nigga Roy was drinking. Oh, man. Roy had too many bubbles. But yeah, man, Roy said that he was, uh, <laughs> he said that he was out of yeah. pocket on the uh, thing and he apologizes to the whole thing. We didn't give a fuck, honestly. I mean, I don't think. Yeah, no. Nah. I, I think it was pretty obvious I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> anyway, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it was, well, we just go listen to it. We go turn it into I'm, a, I'm honestly a little seem, sad he was drunk. He didn't seem drunk. He didn't seem drunk to me. Did he seem drunk? He, he, his, it felt like his opinion had him, but yeah, I, he didn't seem intoxicated. You can, <laughs> what if this is his way of realizing oh, he doesn't want to engage in a back and forth because he doesn't like us, so he's saying he was drunk? So it's like, it's just, you know, smooth sailing. We don't well, got to talk did, about each other. Well, he did mention why he, uh, just play it. Yeah, I was getting heat for like, kind of explain your side of the whole AJ the Menace thing, like trying to understand it. They was giving oh, me I'm, I'm going to miss that part. This nigga nah. slick be explaining shit that don't need to be explained. Slick, right? I was say, shut up, nigga. I, I, I be trying to understand stuff that isn't explained too well. I, I was drunk talking to AJ. <laughs> <laughs> I said, he said, I think abstractly. He didn't say nothing crazy. <laughs> Isn't that like, yo, I, I, knew, like I, knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Isn't yo, that like uh I was super drunk. Dr- I was super drunk. I I just lost a friend. That was I was I'm mad I was on spaces that night. Oh wow. You were super yeah. drunk? Yeah, yeah, you didn't really have a, a crazy oh, wow. argument for what you said and you sounded wrong. I was in the stage that night and I was like, what the fuck is Rory up there talking about? Click yeah, doing that super, bullshit. That was that was, that was, that was, was a mess. Good. I'm not gonna lie. It it, it 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 didn't start getting sloppy towards until the end. That's true. Yeah, so yeah like, I, give him some credit. I felt embarrassed. Right, yeah. No, no, I wasn't nah, embarrassed. I, I peeped it. I peeped it. I ain't it gonna hold you. It wasn't that bad, yeah, but it did is, get a little got a little sloppy, little, little, little bit. Yeah. I felt like I was just taking my anger out on him. Or it could be a pause. Pause, pause. An, intoxica- yeah. an intoxicated mind is a sober mouth. It is. I remember when I first heard that, I was like, oh, shit, these That's bitches are crazy. True. And you could tell he wasn't that drunk because he didn't tell you that he loved you in the end. 
Right. No, super, I mean. super drunk is a stretch, I think. Yeah, that's for a, sure. That's how you know you want super yeah, drunk. Yeah, yeah, super drunk is a stretch. Like, nah, yeah. man, I really love you, man. It's, I don't it's whatever. What I, I it's tripping. like, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, apparently, you know, it's like, um, and condolences to Roy, he was going through something. For sure, yeah, that, yeah. That motivated a lot of that energy. Yeah. Yeah. He was literally just trying to forget. I was about to but say. at the same time, which is, that's one of the things why I told you, like, when you do, like, it seems like the best route to take is when I do run into somebody that we've talked about, it's like, yeah, man, say what you got to get. What, get that shit off your chest, nigga. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What, uh, just get, get it off your chest. I'm not about to take that shit seriously, nigga. At this you point, you need to start heart. constructing the argument for them. So, like, you just rebut them. Yeah. I mean, I'm just rebutting them. And, but that's why, and like. And half the time, I can't remember because you always nobody remembers one specific moment or yeah. what is it that you don't like well, you, no, you just, you no, just you remember do. a feeling you, do, if it's true. you remember no. a feeling you had you remember you, it, you remember it with your super villains like Spider-Man he got a bunch of niggas to where it's like they'll catch him in the street he don't even know why they really mad at him for real but yeah. exactly. the whole time this nigga is the reason for their origin story yeah, and yeah, that's, that's why true. you gotta break it down you gotta be like okay like I'm not saying you hate me for the wrong reason but at least tell me why you hate me. Let's be reasonable. So I can that, explain why you hate me. Right, 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 right. You like know I, what I mean? can tell you why I either stand on that point still, and hey, you can hate me if you, because you can feel however you feel. <laughs> you can hate me. But, but I, you yeah. are going to let me talk to you. For sure. Yeah, you're not about you to get talk to me. Yeah, yeah, you sound sure. a little entitled, but I, I'm rocking with it. Well, you can't hate me without at least talk. I mean, shit. That's not true. Well, you can't. You can but definitely hate me from a distance. As a man? Hating from a distance is safe. It depends on who's the hate aggressor. Nah, because a lot of hate isn't pure enough to really do it in real life. You know what I mean? Like you don't feel that way. You just projecting. Everything always. You just changes. trying to distract. Everything yourself. always changes in real life. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But Rory is one of those people. Like I can't react to his hate. Like I'm not gonna have his hate turn into me hating him. I mean, yeah, because, because it's Rory. Right, right, because right. of Rory's guilt. It's Rory. I feel like Rory feels internal guilt when he hates somebody or when he does something bad. Like. I don't think he was drunk. I think his cat was sick. Like shit like that. You know what I mean? Like that's the type of Rory. That's the type of nigga Rory is. You know what I mean? He feels. You think he has sick cats? I think the weather affects you think, his you mood. You don't think he's a good home? <laughs> <laughs> you think he's, he's a good caretaker? He's a dog person, I think. The weather affects his mood. He's that type of guy. He's a dog person? I think, I think so. it's because we, we know he's low-key like actually kind of reasonable. Yeah, exactly. It's like you can't like fully hate a nigga like that. Nah, man. Rory is... You can't fully hate a nigga who reflects as much as Rory does. He reflects so much. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what you said to him. He said it to himself. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so it's like, true, you know true. what I mean? Bro, I said it in that last clip. I feel like towards the end of that call, Rory has called out his own shit that was either trash or corny. He's got to get around to it for himself. And that's you know what, what I mean saying? by reasonable. Like, reasonable yeah. about his own shit. Yeah. Yeah. Vulnerable. Vulnerable is what I mean. Vulnerability. Term. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man, what was I watching? I, it might have been the spaces randomly. It somebody, sounded good. Somebody said, uh, <laughs> somebody said, uh, yeah, you're sensitive or something. He said, what's, well, what's, what's wrong with being sensitive? But it was like the way he said it, I was like, that's pretty funny. Like it was just, <laughs> it was funny because it was like, I guess nothing, but like. But you could hear it show it. Nothing, but at the same time, things. if you if you doing shit like this on spaces, in this context, it probably is an issue. Yeah. You probably should control your shit a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you just like tweaking out over some goofy shit every so often, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Said, what's wrong with feeling your feelings? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. <laughs> And I, at least, at least his. How do you rebuttal that? <laughs> it's like I don't know, nigga. Yeah. Action therapist. Right. At least when he gets drunk, he's not like destructive. You know what I mean? Yeah. At least, well, self-destructive, but at least he's not hurting know. anybody else. Because who did we, are we about to respond to somebody that got drunk and said a bunch of stupid shit on this podcast, or was that just like my home life? I'm nope. trying to think. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what happened? At least, at least, unless I forgot. Unless I forgot. Uh, I think you're talking about the I'm debacle. I'm thinking about Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, that's something different. Which y'all have talked about that already, haven't y'all? Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. touched on a little bit as uh LOI the show. But Patrick C C just dropped the video. That's why I was fresh in my brain. Oh, it's up then. Yeah. Oh, it's over for you, yeah, buddy. It's over. Hey, nigga. If Patrick C C C C Yeah. You get that C C nigga, you out of here, bro. It's Ain't funny no, how the white man dictates how like black people feel and shit. You sound like an Israelite. There's a war going on, pimp. Don't act like you don't like white. You sound like Rory. Chase. Even when I put this clip in here, it's like, how much more? How do we even milk this? It's, in, it's milk. 
I think like, we, we addressed I, it. <laughs> we addressed it. Fire muscles. I don't know what else yes, to say. If we harp right. on it too much, then Lori's going to fucking, <laughs> he's going to look at his reflection in the pond. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> I was about to say, man. Shout so, out. I will comment on uh, this. It's going to start to flicker. I will comment on this uh, YouTube channel, Two Clean Jones. Whoever you are, you have been secretly dominating uploading Twitter spaces in the last 24 hours, it mm -hmm. seems like, or 48 hours. Because your shit, obviously, probably once I click it, it keeps going up. I do love your name. I know you're a Philly nigga. Too clean, Jones. Like you're a Philly nigga. You like, gotta be. You spell men is wrong. Y'all should be able to smell each other out. That's okay. It's it's cool. It's M E N A C E. Uh, but yeah, mints. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> from Philly. Mints material. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some of that Philly <laughs> education. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga. Matter of fact, hit subscribe for him because I don't even know why I haven't subscribed because it's like. The last couple of days, I'm like, look, look, looking for something, and his shit comes up first. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this nigga is on it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Voila. Uh, 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 you would never be on this show, nigga. That's funny. Is that some shit we can talk about on Patreon? We might have to bring that up. We'll talk about it on Patreon. We got There's Patreon people. It'll carry over still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it'll permeate. It'll permeate. It'll permeate. We're yeah. at that level now, but that's beautiful. Um, B Bully and the Beast podcast. When's the last time any of y'all saw it? Um, Th that sounds crazy to hear, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I see it on IG. I be <laughs> yeah. seeing like shorts, little, little clips of shorts. I'm be honest, like my Instagram ain't even been showing me the source no more. Word. Yeah. You need to, yeah, you need to go over there and like yeah. like two or three. Posts I got a man. You really get up in that shit. Yeah, you gotta okay. re, you gotta re jump it in your algorithm mm -hmm. for sure. I was about to say like, why have you been interested in the podcast? Well, I just watched it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to say. I'm just, I'm just curious, like, <laughs> why you say it like that? You just said it like it was impossible for, right. for it to be have good. You, have you been interested in the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I used to fuck with. I used to watch it every week. Like I was heavy on okay. it. Okay. You was um, heavy on it. I never got but when heavy. it first started. So, so you never got heavy on it. I never got heavy. I, I saw did the get clips heavy. and I, I supported because it it's wax. But you know, I was watching it pretty regularly. Too. I got. I w I was on at least a two year reg like regular yeah. for at least two years. I was in there at least. They still doing this virtual shit. So um, the biggest thing. All right, so I watched this episode. It's all virtual. Wax looked like he cut his hair. Wax works at Publix now. Are you dead ass? I'm not. That's a complete lie. It was a joke that was carried out throughout the podcast. Okay. But I'm going to title it that, that Wax fell off so bad after getting fired from Charlemagne. <laughs> he works at Publix, even though it was obviously a joke during the podcast. I'm about to say. Because it was such, somebody in the Reddit believed it. That's honestly what made me go. Two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I said to myself, I'm going to watch a Billy and the Beast episode just because I, I haven't seen it in a while. And I used to love the show. Yeah. And then I went on Reddit and I saw somebody said, Hey, like I have a serious question. Like, does Wax work at does Wax work at Publix now? And I was like, ain't no way this nigga fell off that hard. Bro, you know they would like, never hire him at Publix. Never. I was about to say maybe yeah. Walmart. He <laughs> maybe like uh, He's too big for them green ass shirts. Put Costco pushing carts. A corner store, nigga. But uh, right, <laughs> nigga catching. But, but now nah, uh, he lays his own catches. eggs. He but lives yeah, off the land. They were cooking him in the comments saying, "Nigga, that was a joke." And your dumbass actually took it so seriously. You brought it over here to Reddit. Yeah. But I'm gonna title the. The thing that anyway, regardless, it's whatever. Mm. But yeah, I thought it was, they still have great chemistry. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I think I didn't get to the point where they were so virtual. But when I started watching this show, L'Oreal wasn't even in radio yet. Right. Either. Yeah. So she damn sure wasn't. Once she got into Before radio, the I hustle. think the show essentially went virtual 100% yeah. because mm -hmm. she has duties. The she Morning moved, Hustle's in moved, D.C. Yeah, she it's, moved. yeah, the Morning Hustle's in D.C. Yeah. It's in D.C.? It's in D.C., yeah. So oh, like, I don't know why I thought that was in North Carolina. Nah, nah Morning nah. Hustle's in... No, we, they, they we, we it. get it on our radio station. Syndicated. Station. Yeah, it's syndicated down here. Um, but, so yeah, like she's in D.C. majority of the time, and then she would be going up to New York, which is still a, a stretch of a ride. God yeah. Damn, you know what I'm saying? But then, and now Wax doesn't even work with Charlemagne no more, so he's probably back in South Carolina or wherever the fuck he's at. I don't yeah. actually know where he's at. Yo, it looks like he's in a different place every time. I was, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> and then... um. Bouncing Angel from and different then, bitches' cribs, and then Angelo. Oh my God, that's so funny that you said that because they just because we couldn't see it, but they're obviously on Zoom and Zoom, and it says the girl's name who's whose laptop he's on. <laughs> this nigga, <laughs> and, this is Sarah and Laurie Baker. Was like, Laurie was like. All right, Danielle, or some shit like that. And he was mm. like, he's like, yeah, what, what are you talking about? What are you talking Cassandra, about? Cassandra, bitch, what? Yeah, yeah. He's like, what the fuck are you talking Started about? Started getting flushed. She said, nigga, we see it. We see it. And he was like, well, eight. Obviously, nothing's changed over here. And he doesn't. Like, you know what and saying? he's not like, savvy enough technology, technological cool yeah, wise to right. you know change the Gmail or yeah log into his shit or whatever. Yeah. But overall, <laughs> he bro, thought private mode was gonna. Hide I him. did think it was yeah. a. 
I enjoyed myself. They're really short too. As you can see, they're only an hour. Yeah. Pretty They've been much. doing this podcast for a really long time. It's now been the like YouTube five years. Since this is years. a I I know these YouTube numbers are really low, but it's uh, obviously this is a really audio based podcast. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. you know, they come from the loudspeaker family. And it still says loudspeaker <laughs> on the audio on um Apple Podcasts. On Apple Podcasts and shit like that. So I think it is still up underneath the loudspeaker. Shout out Mr. Moreau. And these just do, like uh, uh, do be like an hour long. Nah, there's nothing yeah, there. it's like a straight out. I didn't have no timestamps on it. Uh-uh. Yeah, so the one thing that I did, one thing that did make me happy was Wax's talking points were still the same. There was a thing. I don't know why that made me happy, but it was like, man, nothing's changed, you know? I- ignorance is bliss. He was pretty much talking about, this is so stupid, but y'all have heard this how he washes his hands before he uses the bathroom. Yeah. Because his meat is clean. That was like a 10 minute conversation. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's like, there were certain combos that like, I was like, yo, we're literally having the same conversations, which then. You guys did, make it so far. Which did not kind of make me think like, damn, I wonder if he'd be like, now that he doesn't work with Charlemagne and travel everywhere, like his stories aren't going to be as good. <laughs> Cause, Cause, like Cause he's, not, he's not adding. Extra, he's not adding these extravagant new stories no more. I mean, uh, I don't know if Charlemagne you know gave him he his always, whole life. He always made the story, though. He did. It was his decision making. It wasn't his location. But it did feel like uh, the opportunity to be in certain places created those stories. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Like, you you, just like when, you know, you live more. Yeah. More life experience, better stories, better uh-huh. music, you know, uh-huh. that whole thing. You Most know? of his stories in Brilliant Idiots was from shit he did in South Carolina or New Jersey before he was on. But then sometimes we would get those stories like Chico Bean would talk about how the girl was butt naked on the balcony and he was praying to her with the Bible. Yeah, you think he stopped insta- instead of fucking her? You think he stopped praying over pussy? That's what I'm saying. He wax no. is gonna be waxed wherever he is. And I'm and this is all over one episode. Obviously, I'm not back on the rotation or rhythm yeah. yet, but I might because it's only an hour, bro. This is nothing. Let's watch some of this. Yeah, just click anywhere. It doesn't fucking matter. No, use your little um Tom Hanks. Ability. I will say it is amazing. Oh yeah, give us a timestamp. I will say it's amazing that L'Oreal and Wax as Who are these niggas as terrible as their relationship started, they are really they're really homies, bro. That's like, like their relationship. Yeah, they're, they're, they're cool. They're really homies they're for cool. real. I didn't like him at first. Wax? Not him. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like anybody better than him. But let's go to <laughs> um thirty two forty nine, nigga. Dick's Anonymous was the way the title came. I'm up. sorry. Dick's Anonymous. <clears throat> yeah, saying that with no context is crazy. Oh. Like they that were, was the first word you oh, said. Dick C you didn't anonymous. Say, you didn't but say this title, was, but it's really. You have to mark these, okay? Um, but, but that's how they. You have to do that for the YouTube algorithm, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but he was talking about it for so long because she's like, "Yo, you keep talking about your meat. It's like it's like you just left a Dick's Anonymous uh, a meeting or something like that." Yeah, it was pretty funny. Wax the exhibitionist. <clears throat> But yeah, we'll watch a little bit of this. Yo, this shit was funny. So this white dude up here in the corner, his name is uh, Jimmy or Timmy, I think. This is what, this is what, I don't even, and Angelo's in New York as well too, but this is one of Angelo's homies. And they were like, yo, who do you have joining us? He said, yeah, man, this is just, you know, my homie. And uh, I think he's funny. I think he'll fit in. <laughs> yo, Wax and L'Oreal, they just like slightly pause. Like I said, yo, this nigga better be funny, yo. Like, who is this nigga? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. What are you doing, dog? I was like, yo, this shit is funny as fuck. He's got the dumbass background, too. It's like, he's not... <laughs> it's almost like he came to the friend group wearing the wrong outfit. Yeah. Yeah, nah, Like, you man. overdressed. Why you got a green screen? All right, we're looking at Noble's Magic Timestamps. Let's just see what it is. This is in a circle, because these are college kids. I'm just thinking about back in the day when niggas used to dead ass be in a cypher, going oh, outside oh. to smoke. Or doing whatever the case. What are you going to be doing? And sometimes, you, she, it's not that they only want to be around certain weed smoke. Don't nobody like the smell of cigarettes. Yeah, come on, fam. You're yeah. bugging. And to play devil's advocate, like, she said she can't smoke weed for medical reasons, but she's smoking cigarettes. Yeah, I'm just it's even worse. So Let me tell you something. She's tripping. Yeah. Maybe you need to smoke weed. Because <laughs> that doesn't make sense, right? Like, how can you smoke nicotine but not? All I'm weed? saying is, if I maybe was allergic. allergic. Some they people are allergic to, to weed. Hmm? I, I, if they were saying that to me, that was her excuse. We're all in the cipher. And she said, "Oh, I can't, I can't smoke weed because medical." And she sparks up a cigarette. This is ridiculous. You know, my friends are looking at her. I don't know like, what they're talking about. What's wrong with her? You lose yeah, touch. Yeah, you yeah, lose your touch. touch. Yeah. Nah, I, I mean, Wait, what look at what I'm working with. Well, You're always know? working with something. What, what did y'all? What did y'all both say collectively that I? That I was he confused. chose a bad timestamp. We didn't like you know that wasn't oh, a good indication of his. Touch. You know of they're talking abilities. about they're talking about ciphers and whatnot. They're, they're answering a question from a caller. 
Oh, okay. Because yeah, that's okay. what their show, they used to, you yep. know, the bully and the bees, the voicemail thing or whatever. Uh-huh. And they would give advice to people. Yeah. That's what that them, hilarious. Yeah, those two niggas together yeah. giving advice was always f- fantastic. But they, they didn't get that many questions, they said. So uh, they said their emails drying up. So some of y'all that got life advice that are some fucked up stories, send them in because... I'm probably gonna start watching it again if they just need they didn't they only had two and they stretched like two questions out for the entire episode. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn Mike here. Mike looks a little guilty right there. <laughs> he looks a little dehydrated for you sure. You know what I mean? He cut his hair too, right? I can't tell, that but that hat is way too tight on his head, right? Yo, he might be he might be in your club. What does wax what does he do during He did that? have a big ball spot? He had a huge ball spot. That was years ago. Yeah, so he might have got rid of it. Yeah, it looks like he cut his hair. I never got to see him turn to the side. It looks that hat is tight though. Mm-hmm. Might have cut his hair. But yep, yeah, you know. Does does he look falling off after leaving Charlemagne? He it, he just looks a little bit like is that you remember how R. Kelly looked after the documentary? It was just a lot more inflammation in his face and shit. Like it's just it's wax certain. wax look a little withered. Yeah, you know, he what looks I mean? a little withered he for does, sure. He, he doesn't look as strong, right? He, he looks well, like I mean, he lost I'm, a lot of muscle density. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, right. you can't tell from there. You it's can't, like, it's just not, his look, look at look at the uh, look at the come on the what trapezes, is, my nigga. His shoulders not big enough for you. Come on, man, it's not as big as they used to be when he was really raising them chickens. Like, I don't know. You can't tell his face. He looks like he's aging like Beanie Siegel. Beanie Siegel got he shot looks in like the Beanie stomach. Siegel. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. There's he looks a, like Beanie Siegel. That's what it is. There's a resemblance. Right? Old he beans. Looks, old beans, yeah, for sure. And he got shot. So what does that say about Wax? He need to take better care of himself. Yeah. Beanie Wax, man. That's crazy. But yeah, I just watched Bullying the Beast, and I was just like, wow, I really have not been here in a while. Yeah, I used to watch that shit all the time. The virtual right? thing is really hard, even though I understand why it is what it is. You better be very entertaining. <laughs> yeah, it's really yeah. hard. It's terrible. The audio experience for the virtual thing, man. You sacrifice everything. Like, it got to the point when, uh, back when he was living in Greensboro and I was still in Raleigh, we would just load up a bunch of episodes when, I, when we was together, just yeah. so we didn't have to do it virtually. Yo, for real, yeah. dog. Because it was like, nigga, fuck that shit. It sounds crazy. It'd be buffering <laughs> it that does. you can't account for. Yeah. I would, especially if these are only an hour, you know, knock out three, four hours at one time. That's three different shows. I would like them to back in the studio because go back to their YouTube. See when the last time they were even in the studio together. And they, it was a lot of virtual shit. And, and I understand, but it's like, thing. it just, and virtual, just don't hit the same, man. It's never the same because it's like it's certain body language things that are happening that you see especially adding a new person seven months ago this is five months right here and this that's not seven. bullying the beast though it's bullying the beast episode is 245 is wax there yeah he's there oh, okay, he pops okay. up in the thing <laughs> that nigga is wax <laughs> right there. Believe this shit. i couldn't see him it just looked like a bunch of random people click on it who, are, they, who <clears throat> are these people <laughs> just find out they just the right there, right there. How long ago was this? This was five months ago. You don't lose that much muscle mass, and that nigga, he's he looks the same. He yeah. does look older in the face, though, and that's what happens with you know allegations. They tend to age you. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder what they. I wonder what kind of numbers Bullying the Beast does audio wise. They can't be judged off their YouTube at all. No, I don't think so. Yeah, but no. them sisters are hiding like L'Oreal's forehead right there. <laughs> with that bond, with that uh, <laughs> them bangs, them it's bangs. just incognito. The yeah, bang. they're damn near covering her eyes. Bang. If she didn't have them long ass lashes as like windshield wipers, it'd be over. How ridiculous it is! Yes, I am. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. Old man in the three, future of the pod. Now that JJ Reddick coaches the Lakers. Yep. Well, he pretty much introduced it. So it's like JJ Reddick has a bunch of podcasts. And a new job coaching the Lakers. Those oh, he has things. A, he has a bunch. He has an old man the, in the three. He has mind the game. He has and four. even four in total. I think it's four. I think it's four. Regardless, though, right. The only one I knew was the LeBron joint, and then I knew he popped up on like ESPN and shit like that. And he had a he yeah. he had a couple podcasts before that. But regardless, though, something has to happen with all these platforms now that he's coaching the Lakers. And this one, oh, those two, are over. Some of them, but click the link on the video. Badoosh. Which one is oh, man, so? This three. is the most important podcast that he decided to like keep. This is the only one that um. Old man in three, yeah. This is. I think this, this might is, be the only one that could, that could continue without him. 
Oh yeah, this is the one that. He oh, was. without him, okay. Because obviously not do, they not doing mind the game no more. Like these things gonna be <laughs> playing working. the Clippers. Right, right, right. Giving out secrets. All right, let's see this. Hey everyone, it's JJ. Wanted to give a quick thank you to every single person who has listened to one of our podcasts, who has watched a video, who has subscribed, followed us on social media over the last four years. Anyone who's bought a hat, literally any support you have given us, uh, it has meant the world to us. Obviously, we're in a little bit of a transition here at 342. I will be moving on to uh, coach the Los Angeles Lakers. 342 is alive and well. 342 will continue to operate. Uh, I'm going to have no involvement. Uh, my entire focus right now is on coaching the Los Angeles Lakers and making them the best possible team they can be. Um, I do want to say one thing real quick, though. I have been very fortunate in my life. Um, and I talked about this at the press conference when I was introduced as a Lakers coach, I've been very fortunate in my life that I've gotten to do some amazing things. And whenever I reflect on the cool yeah, stuff, um, yeah, you can't pause. You know, say, he's about that. I will right. say one thing about JJ Redder. He's a great public speaker. For sure. For sure. That nigga yeah, locks in personality, like personability <laughs> yeah. immediately. He got it. What's he, going on, guys? He, like, he I'm had like, to oh, lead man, a college really team. Care, nigga. I'm about to say, you could lead a college team, nigga. You can. Public speak a little bit. He's going to lead a locker room full of giants. Yeah. You can't really hold your tongue. He played back. for Duke, right? Yeah. 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 He was uh, hated for Duke. Yeah. Because yeah. he was so damn good. I'm uh, excited to see what he's going to do in this coaching position, though. Yeah. And did y'all watch this? I should have got uh, to the, the timestamp, but it was three minutes. So I was like, nigga, this shit's so short. But eventually, somewhere in it, he talks about how this shit is just going forward without him. Yeah. There's an interview <laughs> dropping this week with a special guest. But who else is on this show? Is it just him? His like, homeboy Tommy, just, I think. What's the white guy? I name? think it's Tommy. Yeah, something like that. It's one of his homeboys. Okay, who's uh, pretty good? He's, yeah, he's pretty he's good. He's pretty fucking he's pretty good. good. Yeah, good so, enough to carry the show. For sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if he's that good. That's Did you ever watch it? Only time will tell. I saw. I used to watch them in clips more than just full shows. Like if it was so something I didn't that interests you. I never really got a full understanding of like how good the other dude was. For, for basketball enthusiasts, he's good. Yeah. Because I mean, he he's bringing up valid yeah. points and things, and he has his own takes. So I talking mean, about his calls, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he knows enough basketball to get to do good banter to yeah. get like certain um, talking points out yeah. of JJ Redick. Mm. Yeah, for sure. For okay. Sure. For sure. Mm. JJ Redick. Um, <clears throat> it is it is pretty crazy how like Isn't it crazy his career crazy? changed. In a second, yeah. like he was literally about to be like, I could see him being an all-time great. You know, like you said, public speaking, uh, uh, what they call bat basketball analyst or whatever. But oh, yeah. it seems like LeBron just called in a favor and at the whim. You know what I mean? Called in two favors. He was like, yeah, yeah, a couple favors. But he was like, <laughs> yeah. he been trying to coach for a while. Is though. this? He has, but yeah. it's just been trying to coach for a while. Like he it went happened to the like top that immediately. though. This this was the perfect time. Is this the first time somebody just left the podcast industry so officially for a better job? <laughs> right. This has to be um, one of the like I don't I can't think of another instance where niggas was like all right no, no more podcast and I I'm doing what I really want to do now. It That'd depends. be like if I left him started playing in the G League. Yeah, or see, those dreams are still alive. Like could you see uh, my imaginations? JJ playing in the big three. No. Nah. I don't think he would want to for real. No. Nah. But nah, nigga, I'm I'm talking about like going from I'm talking on a microphone to Yeah, no, nobody's ever done it before. It's not a millions of dollars to do something a lot cooler. Usually I'm not saying that a podcast is like a Vegas residency, but it it, it could be treated for as such. For these niggas that like that are already successful. It could be yeah. treated as such. Yeah, yeah, for them. And it just makes Vegas sense. Vegas residency's getting a lot more lit. Y'all think he'll be a good though. coach? I don't. It doesn't matter. It's hard to say. <laughs> it, doesn't <matter. laughs> it doesn't matter. It's like whatever. You I'll see that, what happens. You think they're trying to win? Yeah, yeah. I feel like every season. I don't know if every season they're you actually. You think the trying Lakers to, are trying to win a championship? Yes. I'm assuming everybody's trying to win because yeah. I don't watch enough. I don't. I, I don't even watch the fucking behind the scenes talk. I, think I don't know. They all give the impression because that's what you're supposed to do. Like you can't just be like I'm forfeiting this mm -hmm. year. Right. But 
let's be honest. I think the moves that, that they're making, they they don't look like they want to. But win. I think that happens mid season more than it does the beginning of the season. I think at yeah, the they're beginning trying to of the season, you up. try to set yourself up to do something. And I think he's going to fucked in the say it again in the beginning of the season. You, you try to set yourself you're, you're, by you're doing what with motivational speeches or making off no by off trying to play, moves. trying to see what by trying to see what the most you can do with what you have, and then like. A few games in, 20 games into the season, 30 games in, you're like, all right, all right. we have to tank because we need picks. I think gonna JJ is going to be very sensible. But what was you saying? Uh, I have no idea. I've never – I'm not – I'm not deep enough in basketball to where, like, I could look at a coach or hear a coach is getting traded or works for them, and I'm like, oh, shit. The only person that I can think of off the top of my head is fucking uh, Phil, Phil, Phil Jackson. If you good, get Phil, this is a good coach? Yeah, if you get Phil Jackson – you got good chances, probably, but even they say by the time he got to the Knicks, the nigga was trash as a coach. Well, it's not that he was trash as a coach; he didn't have Michael Jordan anymore yeah. or Shaq and Kobe. That's another big part of this: is yeah, that like true. these were the niggas he was coaching. Yeah, if he coached us for, it's like fuck. He's getting nowhere with that, but you know. And JJ, like he has, he got enough pieces. He should get far. He should get far enough. The, the what Lakers, the Lakers, didn't, even, the Lakers didn't even make the uh, playoffs, though, right? Yeah, they didn't even make the play in. No, nah, they didn't. Damn. What they are you did. talking about enough pieces? Their, co- their problem is beyond coaching. A lot of basketball They coaches. just drafted this uh, one uh, small forward nigga. I forgot his name. Talking about the white saw. dude, Dalton. I forgot yeah. how to say Not his even name. him, but he's nice, too. Well, he's the notable yeah. pick yeah. that they just got. Connect. He's the most important. Connect. Is, connect. His initials are DC. Yeah, That's like all connect. I know. And, he, and his number is four, so his nickname is going to be Connect Four. Where are you playing? Texas? I don't remember where he played at. I just played his somewhere. last name, Connect. Like uh, I think he's like Slavic no, or something. Uh, he's not He's not American white. He's not. And he's yeah, one there of them, it is. He's one of them bread whites. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gotcha. You yeah. see? Yeah. Tennessee. That's where it was. Tennessee. I should have yeah. known that because my sister went to that school for law school. He's from Tennessee. That's the school he That's went to. He went to. He yeah. went to oh, he went to gotcha. Major yeah. program. But. Because he definitely looks foreign. Yeah, nah. And even then, like, this nigga 25. Or 24, how old is he? 23? That's oh, old to begin drafting. Yeah, he's, he's older. Okay. Yeah. They typically don't like to draft yeah. niggas that old. Yeah, I was right there. Hey, man. Yeah, but I think basketball coaching uh, a lot of times is about just, like, getting the respect of the players and then, like, enough so that you can change the rotation and niggas not be pissed. Like, and, so that you can pull them out at certain points and they respect it. The and it's also understanding really the basketball. Sometimes. But, they got, but if they don't respect it, then you're not going to get the best out of them. Yeah, that's true. If they don't think you're making a move that actually helps. And coaching in the NBA is kind of like, you know what I mean? There's a lot of uh, lore that goes into coaching in the NBA. Like, a lot of these niggas aren't calling the plays. Oh, facts. And speaking of, but when like, you uh, look at them sitting down with the clipboard and a thousand other coaches behind them, they look like they're making real decisions. Some of these niggas are just telling them, roll the ball out and go hoop. Pass and it. has Draymond talked about, like, the situation with um, Clay Thompson leaving on his podcast? Does Draymond even do his podcast anymore? Yeah, he does. Yeah. I believe so. Often. His is the virtual end, right? His is always the over Skype. Yeah. The sports player, I hate the Skype fucking podcast. I really do. But it's just, just him like typically it. now. Sometimes he'll do Bro, it really, by himself still. It'll be him talking for like yeah. 10 minutes, 12 minutes, just looking at bullet minutes, points. 30 minutes, nigga, 40 yeah. minutes. It's a little different with Draymond. Yeah. Draymond's good. Oh, no, no. Draymond he doesn't have one, to talk to nobody. Yeah, the Draymond yeah. ones are good, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, the Draymond ones are good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah. Well, say. let's stay on basketball podcast because I didn't even realize that the uh, <coughs> the uh, Jello and Zoe and the What an Experience podcast. Yeah, they have a, the Ball Brothers have a podcast. Everybody's yeah. on the podcast except the youngest, the the, the youngest Ball Lonzo. Mm. I about to say somebody got to <coughs> fulfill their I father's mean, dream. Uh, Lamelo, Lamelo, Lamelo. Sorry, sorry, Lonzo and Jello are on there. And then their boy Deems, I can't remember his name. Dino. Dino, it's something like that. Yeah, click that. Dino and the Hispanic dude. Yeah, that Hispanic guy. If you watch Ball in the Family show on Facebook, this is going to feel like a reunion show. I, how, I was just yo, thinking that. Bro, this is this, it's just a reunion I, show. But, but you it, see, bro. but the most popular one isn't there, so they have to do a podcast. They can't do a show. You get what I mean? The two and that's the popular. only reason. That's what this feels like. Wait, what, do you, wait, what did you say? The most popular one is actually... Hooping stuff. Like... Fulfilling his dreams. So they can't do a show. They got to do a podcast. Yeah, but I don't want to see a show. I <laughs> I don't I don't know. 
Well, don't you Calm want to down. see it? I wasn't saying there has to be a show. I was just saying they can't do a show. Oh, my God. Look. He said, I don't think I like But back on the that. podcast, it is funny. This seems like a weird. Because that didn't make sense. It, it, it didn't make sense. How did it not make sense? <laughs> It, the it, most it, popular one's not there, so they have so to do a podcast. Do a podcast. Like, what the fuck? What is that? Hey, I, I, it is crazy. I speak no beliefs, so I get what he was saying. You're like, tell me what the, he was the saying. Most pop, the, most, the most lucrative ball brother that is currently on the Charlotte Lamello. Hornets is yes. playing basketball and fulfilling his dreams, so he doesn't have the time to do another Facebook show. What the show. fuck does that have to do with this Look, podcast? Look, it's fine. Though. You didn't get it, and so now I'm about yeah. to talk about podcasts because that's what we love, and this is a he's show about podcasts, about podcasts, podcast, and that's what we do. He's not but, available. Overall, this seems like this seems like a big uh, market employee for this nigga knee. Every episode is just about this nigga injury, <laughs> feeling better, kind of getting a little bit, you know, it's not sore anymore. Nigga, this shit is ball family trivia. Like, in the episodes that I was watching, like, they was asking Dino, like, yo, what's your favorite moment with my mom, dog? <laughs> like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a it real really question. Is. And yeah, I learned a lot. I was like, no wonder why Lonzo jump shot was fucked up. He was like, uh, I learned how to shoot from my mom. I was like, ah, man. Oh, no, his mom was nasty. His mom was his nasty. Mom was yeah, nasty. Yeah. His mom was fucking nasty. But his mom, they even said no one of the shit that, like, you know, his mom was technically better than they dad the in basketball. Dad, yeah. Go, go, go to the shorts. We can just kind of run through shorts because I don't have any specific moments from any of the episodes. One of them episodes was funny. They. Yo, this nigga Lonzo be having some wild fucking outfits, bro. One of the outfits in, that I saw in the shorts, the nigga looked like he had like goat, like goat fur on his leg. That shit looked crazy, man. <laughs> just click from the beginning and just like, yeah, like Judas is blanking on. We'll just start swiping down just as we like viewing these joints. It's called right. Rick Owens Brokey. <laughs> yeah, right. No, sorry, you for real. Uh, so in your second, since you witnessed the business side of the NBA, tell us and the fans what it's like being a part of trade Next. talks and actually yeah. being traded. I mean, you in it with me. I was What's the best NBA city to play in? To go to is Sky Miami. I wouldn't say to play there. These fans is not really cracking like that, to be honest. I do really, really like, like Chicago. I've really Chicago's fans come home out court is sure. like, man, yeah. there's no better feeling than that. I'm not going to lie. At all my years in the league, best like home court advantage for sure. Obviously them. But if I had to really pick one, I would say New York. I don't know, but that building just like a stage. Like I like how everything around it is dark and then yeah. the court is just lit up. And it's like a playground out there. Go back real quick. What are the keep most going down this thing? Wait, well, oh, yeah, shit, I got time stamps. Oh, perfect. All right. Yeah, I was just about to say, as I'm like watching these shorts, is this really just for a ball of the family fam? The shorts suck. The thing is, like overall, this podcast is a ball in the family reunion show. Right, and right. It, it, the weird thing about it is that they're interviewing each other. And it's different to where it's like <laughs> yeah. on a podcast, like, all right, we've all known each other since we was like seven years old. Why am I asking you questions I know the answers to? Instead of just like having a conversation about it, they tee shit up a lot. It's kind of like the, it's what happens when niggas start podcasting. It's the yeah. formalities of things. It's like, you know, welcome to the show. Um, so tell us about your knee today. Is yeah. your knee feeling yeah. okay? Yeah. Like, you know that the nigga was just complaining about his knee. Just like, it, there's a way to do it to where it's natural. There's a way to do it to where and it feels not, like I mean, B-Dot. Yeah. Yeah. What is it, eight, eight episodes in? Yeah, eight. Yeah, so, I mean... They'll probably loosen up in a, uh, after a while. Jello doesn't have to loosen up. He's already there. He's, he's Jello's perfect as he, is. He, he, is, he, he is. makes the show. He does. He does. I feel like if he left, he definitely. And does. I just had to listen to everybody I would, else. I'd fuck be like, oh, no, fuck I would not yeah. do that. Nigga, no, no, no. shoot a ball. Yeah, Jello yeah. makes the show yeah, for sure. Jello, yeah, he he a smooth criminal. Yeah. Which episode sure. you got a timestamp for? Ah, uh, the most recent one with their girlfriends. Oh, okay, right here. Yeah. Oh, he's talking about the one with the girlfriends. Yeah, because they were all wearing wacky suits too. I didn't get that. Because their girlfriends were there. <laughs> yeah, that like was the that, suit, that was the, a special that guest. That was a special guest. Oh, okay. And the I suits even were knew, crazy. like he was like, we got a special guest and they, they was in the thumbnail. It's like we know who here. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> we saw him before we read this shit, and that's why we clicked. And it was but, their girls. Uh go to uh seventeen oh three. I don't know why. Let's see what happens. <laughs> and in demo, being on the outside looking in. Can you share a memorable story about Tina? For me, man, I would say it was probably a couple of years ago when we get, went back to the school she taught at, and uh, I think Mello partnered up. You and G were there. I think they partnered up, and I give like a scholarship foundation. Trivia question. What but school did she teach at? <laughs> it was in Ontario. I don't know. The this nigga Lonzo, it, like, he got to learn how to podcast. He, he's, yeah. a, he's a bit of an issue. Not like really nothing crazy. But who is that dude, though? Another one of their homies from back in the day. I think that he graduated with Jello. That's gotcha. what it seemed like. They seemed like they in the same class. Okay. But like 
Lonzo, it's, it's something weird about his rhythm. Like, he'll ask you a question, and then you'll start t- answering the question, then he'll ask you another question. Yeah. And then, like, he'll harp. Like, I think he thinks podcasting is just asking a bunch of questions. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. Instead of just talking about shit. Right. I wish the man. So, he, and he, he was forced another question. He gave a trivia question in the middle of a nigga answer part. Played it. Yeah, that was kind of crazy, yeah. The name was in Montclair. Though. Close enough. All right, well. Do you know? <laughs> I don't know the name. Do I don't. you know? Vernon. And I just tapped in right now. Vernon. I just passed that not too long ago when I went to go see Eli. He lives right next to there. I went with you, bro. Damn, you was with me. Yeah. Yeah, I was there too. <laughs> Should I get back to my story though? My fault. <laughs> my bad. Nah, but I'll just that's say, why, you know, like, that's when we why went you back had that to the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, nah. Yo, goddamn, nigga, like, I'm talking about how much your mom meant to me. Yo, <laughs> yeah. Yo. What the fuck? Yeah, Jello makes your show. He has to be here because he's like he's the most loose and just relaxed. That ex- he's the funniest. That exchange yeah. made me made me think that Jello is always looking at Lonzo like nigga. Why you always got to be fake? That exchange made me think that. Well, Jello's in an interesting position because he never made it to the league, so it's like he's really just kind of chilling. You know, like yeah. I feel like when I see big baller brand shit pop up with the dad, it's Jello that's there. He's know? modeling it. Yeah, he's the so only one like, still around. Yeah, like he's yeah. the last one that's around. And he's got his own separate life. He's got his girl, another baby on the way. Like Miss he's, Nikki baby. Yeah. yeah, so it's like he just got, he's just. Oh, you get what I'm saying? He was just like, nigga, I was with you. Why are you acting like I wasn't there? Yeah, right, right, like, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're doing the most right You're doing now. the most. Like, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you picked up on what I was trying to express. It's yeah. like Lonzo's doing like some weird formal shit. He apologized for cursing at one point. I was like, what the fuck? And then his girl yes. came on and started cursing like a bitch. Who? Lonzo's girl? Her Who was Lonzo's Cursing like a motherfucker. Who was Lonzo's girl? Uh, go to 4403. Is that the same girl he's been with since? It's, it's not no, the, it's but not it's, the, it's, same it's, a, it's not the same one, but it's the same type. Cause that, oh, okay, because that Spanish girl is the same type. I think that Spanish girl was holding him up for hostage. I think she's white. Nah, I she, she I was thought she was Spanish. Hispanic. Yeah, I, I saw, thought she was white. I thought she was Mexican. Oh, crazy. Yeah, I thought she was Mexican. Uh, well, but I think she, I think she like held him up for that goddamn that child support for real. She did. For real. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. And this one was going to do the same. Oh my god! <laughs> look at her. It. She really is. Look at her. And look at him. They don't even like she. She is cute though. You know when you see relation the couples and the girl is just like repelled by everything the dude says. Repelled? Yeah, it's one of them situations oh, to where gotcha. she's like, "Oh my god, this is fucking like why is he even? Why? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah. Of that. He yeah he always embarrasses me. Type yeah, shit. and yeah. it's like that's not the rules of the game. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> just snickering. Play that shit. I don't even know if this is what this is. Something to be something else. Hopefully. I'll go back a little bit. Okay. My fault. Oh, that, that was a bad time. Whoa. Pause real quick. <laughs> Whoa. So he was, in, they were introducing their girls and I like, he kind of slick alluded to like, there's a ring on the way. She was like. Yeah. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Play Jesus the kid. Christ. Oh my God. I'm going to let Jello and Lonzo introduce who we have here today. Standing five foot seven from Crenshaw, California, rocking the 40s blue. Oh, <laughs> oh, Whoa. Whoa. Hey, dog. Yeah, Alexandria crazy. Russell. Hi. <laughs> Soon to be something else. Oh. Hopefully. Okay, okay. Okay, round of applause. Okay, round of applause. Round of applause, everybody. Round of applause, The very no, first guest okay, okay, on the okay, way okay. show. I ain't wow. gonna lie, bro. I'm not into the, um, the, the hockey entrance. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm here with my baby, uh, Nikki, today. You feel me? Jello's his dad for real. He like, definitely got his dad. Person. He's definitely his dad. I'm here with my baby. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. And yeah. yeah. she'll always be with me. Don't See, that felt yeah. way more real. They yeah. felt like they actually got real love. Yeah, he's, they, he's the only one saying? being loose for real. Everybody yeah, else kind of tightened up. Like yo, the first guest on the way show. Like, what are you, what are you doing? But I also makes me not even feel like I don't know their love. But it's like that seems manufactured now compared. Yeah, you don't know their love language, nigga. I don't. Talk about, uh, they talk about, about, it about like, Lonzo, Lonzo and, uh, and yeah. his girl. Yeah, it felt manufactured now. And you know what's crazy? The dude Dino, the uh, the Dominican yeah. looking brother in the back, he's yeah. like thirty years older than everybody else. That's what he he is. Yeah, he, he looked young as hell though. Yeah. He looks young as hell, but yeah. like he he's been with them forever. He's been with them since they was in like high school. I think he's Lonzo's manager. I don't. I he think is, he's Lonzo's he manager, he but is. he's a lot older than them. He's like his handler. And he, they look the same age. It's kind of crazy. It's that goddamn hair. They was talking. They was telling the story. Lonzo said I was seven years old. And he was like, "Man, I was throwing lobs to this nigga." Yep. Yeah. So like, how old was this nigga? I think he knows it. Like, I think yeah. They been. He's been around for a while. Because Lavar used to train a lot of athletes. 
Yeah. And he was one of the athletes that LeVar trained. Mm. He's pretty much been, yeah, and he's, I mean, that's his nigga. That's his go-to guy, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, man. This is the perfect podcast to, um, you know, market the big ball brand. Their there guests, no, yeah, there aren't no triple Bs nowhere. The fans were, yeah, nah, they're trying to stay far away from that shit. But uh, the fans were kind of like, yo, special guest is your girlfriends. Y'all niggas need to bring Melo and Laval. Yeah, what do and some it, of the comments That's say? another thing. Um, they could be telling so many, like, great stories. Like, great brother road trips. Like, man, one time we was hooping in uh, Slovavia. You know what I mean? It got crazy I feel out like there. We saw all those stories on the show, though, low key. But, you, but the shit that wasn't on what they didn't show. It was right, 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 right. And it's been so much time since then. The, those would be like the yeah, that's true. Those would be the special episodes when when lines of when Melo does come. It's though. tough. Yeah, it's tough. when they're all together, it really <laughs> is tough. God damn it! Yeah. Like black people love to do that though. Like. Mm -hmm. Have three, four kids and just like no Black matter people what people love to do that. They do, bro. They do. No matter what the sex is, yeah. we're gonna we're we gonna link their names really close. Bro. You can only imagine yeah, they yeah. had the daughters, Labelle. Not gonna lie, Zo girl, low key bugging. Jello girl is mad chill though. Yeah, um, nah. Zo girl was kind of like she. I know Zo and Ali, Ali, Ali fuss a lot. Fuss a lot. How, that is a. He calls it a fuss. Yeah, they're at least four, They're at least thirty five using that. Melo ain't ever going to pull up to an episode. <laughs> and it's crazy because this is the off season. So, you know, if there's time to do that, it's now. It's now. now. Man. And we're getting closer to September. So was, that those mean, girls be laughing the extra hard. NBA season start back in October, but, you know, training camps and all that shit. Okay, like when they're really starting to be Yeah, busy. when they're gearing okay, back gotcha. up for it. Somebody got some advice for Zoe right here, too. Zoe's girl be laughing extra hard at Jello's jokes and stay fixing her hair when he talks. Yo, Zoe, drop her. I'm not going to lie. Damn. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I didn't crazy. see. She did. And it's like, I don't want to piggyback on that, but it did feel like a little of like. A little you know, too much going on. Yeah. Because she was like, oh, Jello's definitely the funniest on the show. And then like Lonzo started trying to be funny, but it won't land. It, it, it's just weird. It, I don't like yeah, it. You know yeah, what I mean? Like that, yeah. Sticky. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> like, I got to see them hold hands in public now. That's nasty mm. work. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Goodness gracious, nah, that tells a lot. Body language is everything. It, it's but, a Jella, lot. but Jella said, I got my baby, so he good. We, you know, so it yeah, brothers nah. and shit. That's crazy. Uh, Jello's living a wonderful life. Because it's like, he doesn't... He's out the way, for real. What is his job? He doesn't uh, have a brand job. Amb for... Brand ambassador. Yeah, honestly, I don't, I, <laughs> Fashion I just, over. Yeah, I really don't know. Because, I mean, he used to do those, like, uh, G League joints, but I don't even think he's doing them G League joints anymore, right? Stints. I mean, he, I, according to him, he's still working out, still trying to stay ready. So yeah, <laughs> like he's still, his hoop dreams are uh, just like mine. Mm. No, right. don't nah. stop. <laughs> no, nah. dreams. look, dreams. Nah. No, he look. got dreams. way for he. Nah. He got way further. He is he way, further. Oh, he he was, way further. He was get way further. He was actually a pro. But yeah. we're Lithuania. but we're just as close. I think we're just oh, as likely to make it to the league. No, that's crazy. That's, that that's can't be like, true. Jello look at what's happening. That can't be true. Look at what's happening. Jello Bush. I yeah. almost beat you. Come on, man. No, you, you didn't almost beat nothing. Yes, I did. You didn't almost beat nothing. What was I the did. score? All right, I didn't almost beat you, but I didn't get blown out, which is important. That's a win for y'all. I've almost beat him. I didn't get blown out. You hear that? I, yeah, I don't think it was that them. far off. Honestly, we went to eleven. <laughs> I probably had like seven. All right. I've almost. I gave you some sympathy. You beat me seven six one time. One point. I'm yeah, good. but the, explain the context of that game. I beat you seven six after beating you like four times in a row. So no, you had that was like game. Yeah, that was like game two. That was like game three or four. That was like game two. Three I don't remember, but I do Come remember on, that bro. day that y'all ran like four or five games back to back, nigga. Smack like game the whole two. day, yeah, bro. Just, that shit was a lot. <laughs> fucking, I was like, damn, that shit was a lot. I was like, I think I got to get. No, that was that was that was that was a one that was a one on one occurrence. I don't think nobody was there but me and him. Nobody was there. It was me and him. I, th did I feel AJ like pull up? I no, think AJ there was up, a maybe. point in time where we did hoop a lot of games and it was on some 21. Yeah. Because I remember no, getting one. No, no, I'm talking no, no, about, no, I'm talking about one, one on one. Me and Lauren played, we played 1v1, one on one and yeah. I think AJ wasn't there. I don't yet. think anybody was there. I, I think AJ later. eventually came. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it was just, yeah. It was just an L for you to, <laughs> just for you to witness. Yeah, it was one on one. Yeah. That's why the story is like what it is. Like, you know, I can't even defend it because I lost. But don't ever compare yourself to somebody who really almost made it. Right. No, you can't do that. Y'all don't even have the right to say that. You can't do that. Don't have the right. Come on, man. But nah, yeah. Shout out to Jello. I'm going to still try to tune <laughs> Yo, in. Yo, 
AJ would just completely disengage, and it's like he he not even gonna give a warning. <laughs> It just happens, so we, I'm looking like, oh shit! I'm about to say, talk to you, nigga. Uh, professional. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was trying to figure out where I was gonna go next. But now, nah, shout out to Jello though. I, I'm gonna still try to like Stop watch it. Up. You professional. But um, yeah, nah. It it just seems like a big market employ for his ankle. <laughs> I don't know. For his knee. He does give a lot of updates. Yeah, but, but yeah, need. let's go over to. What has DJ Academics been doing? I'm asking y'all. Have y'all been keeping up with DJ Academics? At least it seems like he's been watching Poetic Flacco videos, nigga. It feels like since the beef, I just have not been watching nearly as much DJ Academics. Since the Kendra Lamar and... Uh, what is happening here? Or he has, he has been pushed in front of your face? Because he's... I mean, he's been streaming. He's been talking about I guess stuff. The top, you gotta understand. I feel like it lasted too long. You got to understand side. you got to understand how you view academics. There's people who come to what he has to say every fucking day. You only give a fuck when it's a story being broke. You go to academics Big when story. you need them. So you still, y'all been consistently watching him? No, I I'm I'm, I'm just like you. I go oh, to okay, academics okay. when I need to because mm-hmm. I don't care about like, you know, what he thinks about frivolous bullshit. But when it's a big story going on, yeah. it's some Drake versus Kendrick, or it's like somebody shot again and he got the information, that's when I'm tuning in. But I feel like and before, that's when we see the big spikes. I feel like before Drake versus Kendrick, I was tuned into the frivolous shit. True. What's some examples of the frivolous shit? Um, go to his page real quick. Go to his YouTube. Him and his girl, things of that nature. Honestly, I literally put DJ as DJ Academics as a subject and like what has he been doing? <clears throat> because I don't <laughs> Lonzo's me is the first thing we see. Um because I'm like, I just, for some reason, I just haven't wanted to click on any of these fucking videos. You know what I'm saying? Frivolous shit would be. Oh, I see why I'm behind face. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, like yeah, I'm skipping that cool. one. Speaks on the trap. Little raw, what happened? Jesus. Uh, uh, let's see. Go down. Clubhouse, yeah, talking about Clubhouse, Dream Chasers, I don't give a fuck about. These are frivolous things that I might I would have clicked on before Beforehand, the beef, I think. Yeah. The White Party, I didn't click on that because I didn't care. Wait, go back up. That title says... Uh, I didn't even tune in during the Julio main, Fulio thing. Main Chaser Academics reacts to Meek Mill looking very happy at, um, I'm assuming, Michael, Michael Rubin. Michael, Michael Rubin's White Party. First yeah. of all, that sounds like it's funny. Sounds like he's about to be clowning, clowning Meek Mill for having a good time. I mean, and And the view's looking right. He's not falling. I'm not saying he fell off. Mm. I'm just wondering what he's doing. And I'm trying to figure out why. None of this really matters to you, though. Why you say that? Because you didn't watch it. But it mattered before, in a way, is what he's saying. That's what I'm saying, yeah. So what do you think? Is it you? It sounds like you've changed. Or the the way he covered that might have... The perception. It was too much, bro. It hurt him in a way. It was too much, bro. I don't think... You heard his voice too many times? No, it felt like uh You think you got tired of it? I feel like he mil- I feel like he dragged the Drake. Like once he had the nigga up there to to do the buying the streams, I was like, okay, we have got to stop talking about this at this point. The uh He overstayed his welcome a little bit. Nah, I that think shit. I think people put him in a place where he didn't even ask to be. He was just doing academics thing. And that's commenting on public events, you know, current events, things of that nature. And byproduct of him being the best at that people just put him at this level where you know he like he was going to be able to keep that up or he was going to be the joe budden of you know whatever this is and i think we've been mad at other people i think we've just been mad at other people like adam has been giving us some reasons to hate media niggas to where we not like if you're not doing anything blatantly wrong in the moment I guess he's just kind of floating by right you now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of, like, who else have we covered in the last couple of episodes that did something stupid? That did something stupid? Yeah. In no, media. It's sad to have been did a couple Did people. y'all watch Academics, bef- like, frivolous shit before? I feel, like you, I feel like you and I watched it at a pretty consistent... I mean, it's I feel like, like we kind of watch it around the same amount. I feel like I watch academics. Like I didn't, we didn't watch every drop, but we watched at least one to two clips, at least one clip a day. It felt like it, if I smoked black and miles, I would imagine it's like it's like that same. Like I need a hit every now and then. You know what I mean? It's just mm. fucking. You know, 
a couple times a week. You don't feel like your frequency of watching has fallen off? I think it stayed the exact same. Yeah. And especially during this whole hip hop beef, right. it just got it was pushed in front for everybody, of everybody, of course. It, mm-hmm. I didn't even have a choice. It just got pushed in front of me on Twitter. Yo, it was one of them things to where it's like it was so white hot that I, I don't know if you are like subconsciously expecting that. But that only happens like once every five years. Some shit of that magnitude. I do feel like AJ feels though, because I used to watch academics more before the beef as well. How old were y'all when you first started watching academics? Does that not play a role too? I, don't, when did I was, when did, I was personally late. I, I started watching him uh, during Everyday remember. Struggle. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't, yeah, like I missed 20, the war in Chirac completely. Damn, so. that's late. Yeah, it was late. I, mi- I was watching him before Everyday Struggle, but I didn't, I missed the war in Chirac completely. I came on the back end of the war in Chirac. Oh, okay. So I was definitely post-war in Chirac. I'm not that early of a. But how old were you when you were watching it? I don't know. When was. Like young 20s? Bro, I don't fucking know. Cause I feel like that yeah, just that very, I feel like it forever. plays a role in that. Like I was watching way more Breakfast Club, like just like news, hip hop, media content when I was younger, and I had less shit to give a fuck about. So the older I feel like, just literally, the older you getting, the bigger it has to be to bring you back into this. I'm talking about ninety days right now, though. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Well, I don't know, name. I think that's I don't also know why you guys stop watching academics. I think that's also just the media pushing them and honestly i mean maybe you just stopped watching it yeah i mean like, like I, did you it sounds like you've yeah. changed and honestly nigga. maybe you just stopped he's doing the same thing maybe you just stopped watching it maybe you just went through a phase right um or maybe <laughs> what if you were confused on why you were watching him during that stint he doesn't I'm, even I'm know i've never why. been confused while i was watching academics so why were you watching academics because it was entertaining and is it no longer entertaining to you? It feels like it's not as entertaining as it used to be. Is it feel like it's not? Or In the is last it not? 90 days? I don't think it has been because when I do watch it, I don't stay long at all. I, it's like, I just... I still stand on it. Nigga, you don't I, think he's been entertaining recently? Sounds like the take. Yeah, that's it. But you, you're saying that Have without saying it. that? You haven't said it. You, not exactly. You usually take stronger oh, conventions okay. than this. Like, we keep trying to guess why you're not watching. You're like, oh, gotcha. no, that, that's not it. You've just been trying to figure out, I guess. I guess you're trying to kind of, kind of come to it right now. Because yeah. it's that simple. It, yeah, it sounds like trying to come he, to it. it's just not entertaining no more. And I, I don't, not entertain. If it's only been 90 days, I don't know if, if that's a solid reason. Is that long enough? That's because which, which is why 90 days strong, is a long which time. Which is why I didn't have a strong take on it. 90 days is a long time, though. That's a long Wait, time 90, to, pre- no, no, to no, be no, bad. No, 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 no. He hasn't been bad for 90 days. I'm saying post battle. Everything before then, I was watching. Okay. I watched Academics consistently over the last year. But since... Well, you, you mean everything pre-battle. Yeah. Everything pre-battle. But I feel like post-battle, it's like... Maybe it's because it feels like all the... Stre- like, I feel like it's he just focuses... He's focused for too long on it. The last... I don't know. The last year that we've talked about Academics, it's just been a, like a bunch of bad events that happened in a row, like with his girlfriend. So it's just been a lot of scandalous shit. Last year so when you say year. you've been watching academics for the last, last year, nigga, everybody has, he was going through shit with his baby mama that's not his baby mama, but it act like it. He's been going through, like this is the most coverage he's gotten the last year in his whole career. It seems like this is the most drama he's been in that hasn't been his fault. Oh, this is Some definitely that, 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 his fault. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by you that. Got a wild, if you got a wild the, girlfriend, that's your fault. The Kendrick and Drake beef. Yeah, he's talking about shit that's like, not about him personally. I'm talking uh, about like as far as academics being in the news and it's not because of him fucking up. It's literally because he's doing what he was meant out to do. Journalism. Journalism, nigga. Which is what he's good at. <laughs> and it's not a big story. And that's the thing. Like when you're a journalist, even like us, like sometimes that big story... It, it just come right to you. Like the big fish just want to bite your hook on that day. Mm-hmm. Like uh, there's, there's somebody who can that, say that. I, a, I don't get that comparison at all that you keep trying to make. What comparison? That the story just came to him. Like what the, What does that even mean? Like, so when you when It's you okay because do, I don't have my thoughts worked out anyway. So yeah, I'm just confused. Say. Well, no, you, don't no, need, you don't know nigga, how you no. feel. He don't know how you feel. <laughs> I, I know how I feel. I don't know how to articulate it. But the point that like the, I know that the whole news story that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about pretty much I do know that but it's okay fuck it it doesn't matter I, I didn't have it worked but out but it's I don't know if anybody else felt the same like the beef 
he was dragging the beef shit for too long. He had the nigga that was like supposedly uh, buying or faking the views for Not Like Us on. And it was like, all right, nigga, like this is just too much. Just get back to like doing what you do again. But maybe but maybe what the, the reminder of like how good he is at that type of content was like, <clears throat> it's shown a light on how good he can be. And now the rest of what he's doing doesn't seem to be as good. No, it's you not that. that. Nope. I feel like he's okay. dragging. I, said, I already tried that. I feel like he's dragging. I feel like he dragged it for so long, it turned me off of the channel. But you think mm -hmm. that, like, that's all he was streaming about for nine hours in a day, or was that just a part of what he covered? Was that the uh, the bots from not like Like, us? Kevin Samuels was gave... Was that the whole stream? Like, Kevin Samuels Probably gave not. advice on money, but a lot of his show was talking about hoes. Nigga, he right. opened up with Cologne reviews, but nobody it, gives a fuck about that. But And it's one of those things where, like, I, 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 I can't remember watching academic like full stream when he was really no, breaking we, down. I never did that. The breaking down that. That's, I don't have Twitch. Oh wait, the battle when he was really breaking the battle down, like those eight hour streams. I can't remember watching. I them. was definitely watching those. Yeah, I was watching so them shits for too. sure. I don't know good. if he was talking about the the battle like for straight three hours. I three oh, to no, four hours. It's in impossible. The, whoa, There's whoa, not that whoa, much hold to on. say. Wait, wait, well, wait. in the midst of the battle, he yeah, was. He, was the talking, battle, yeah. he was talking about it for eight hours. But I'm talking about. I'm talking about post. When he's doing all the little side content, like talking about the okay. dude with the Not Like Us bots, was that the whole day's worth of stream? Or did he just touch on that? And that was the biggest nah, that story was a, that you cause know. Because he, he interviewed the nigga, so it was a whole stream. And like, he did does, has he, like, even like an off the record, has he, has, an off, has, he have, has he had a off the record that's come out that anybody gives a fuck about recently? Well, let's see. Or maybe I missed it. <coughs> Oh shit! DJ yeah, Vlad, Vlad twelve on. days ago. Twelve days, yeah. <coughs> I never finished it. We're I did start watching jobs. this. Ah, oh, damn! All right. Yep. That's the one thing I could say that I watch post battle. Was it entertaining? It, I had notes for this one, and I never put it on the topic sheet. It wasn't entertaining. I never went. Back it to had to have been. <laughs> it had to have been. I would think so, but it doesn't sound like he forgot it happened. I didn't even see this. I forgot it happened completely. No, I didn't see this Twelve shit days ago. Know. It's something off with his uh, the marketing of this podcast. <laughs> that shit dude, just be just. It, it just happens. It just happens. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like it, it never be, tries to find me. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, Good marketing it tries to find you. It does just happen. Yeah. It's definitely a, yeah. It seems like a true passion project. It's like finding out your dad has illegitimate children. It also Wait, might just what? be a symptom of already Wait, having passion his... project means something that you take seriously, doesn't it? Yeah. Not necessarily. A little bit more. Well, you're passionate about it, but it's like, it, 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 it's using a couple different terms. Yeah, yeah. It's more of a... It's something more like that, like... Google you the definition don't, of... Because they don't know. Google the definition of passion it's project. It's something more like you don't have an exact defin definitive goal. Like, you're not trying yeah. to make this your business, right. but you are passionate. It's you're just doing like, it to do it. It's another yeah. way of saying hobby. Okay, so it's something that you do in your idle time. Yeah, yeah it's gotcha. another way of saying okay. hobby. So you give us time to work it out. It don't come out perfectly every time. It, it's a work, especially a movie that someone gets involved in because they love it or feel it's very good and important. Not in order, not in order, to, order to make order money. Make money. Yeah. See, gotcha. we okay. answered that. Boom. Yeah. And off the record is definitely, it, I mean, I don't want to count academics' pockets, but it doesn't seem like off the record is the main bulk of where his money coming from. Hell no. So YouTube, at that point, no. it, it has to be a passion Twitch project. Like that. Donations. Yeah, yeah donations. Yeah. Yeah. donations. Blessings, nigga. Donations. Come on, man. It's crazy. But, um, but honestly, man, I think you should, you might just have to click on the academics video. You know what I mean? Just jump right into it again. Yeah, just give it the old scout. Maybe try. click on one that has like tons of views too, so you're like, ah, oh, it's got to be mm. good. Yeah, valid. Yeah, FOMO. Yeah. Like I need to, I need to re re buy myself back in. Yeah, in a way. It takes that sometimes. Because I feel like too, you were though. confused as to like why you were really watching them during that why time. Am I not, you, because no, it, I'm not because, confused on why because of where. everything that was going on around it. No, it was nothing to do. No, I was just saying that's just a marker in time, but. It has nothing to do with the battle. Take that out completely. That's just the date. For that one month, everything before then, I was locked in, whether it was trivial or it was really important news. Ever since then, ever since the battle, I've not in tuned into anything that he's done. And, and that's all I'm saying. And you don't know why. I want to know. I'm trying to figure out why. It sounds like you burnt out. Possibly. Maybe I'm burnt out. I don't. It might just be one of those things like, have you gone through phases of watching No Jumper? Oh, for sure. Exactly. And it, yeah. it's, it might just be one of those things where, you know. It might be. They got to get some quality. Up there. Like, I'm just not fucking with it right now. Yeah, like, you used to love Looney Tunes probably, but it's not time for that shit right now. Yeah. 
Whatever. All right, let's get over to this other nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I literally didn't know. I just didn't know if I didn't know if it was something subconscious that was affecting. We're playing therapy. It was one of them things where you. He was gonna to try to figure out how you feel based off how you felt. He's like, say something. Nigga. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, it's not I that. Disagree. It was I didn't know. You know, sometimes it could be uh, subtle marketing changes that yeah. that uh, elicit a you, certain response. Exactly, and it's like, is there something that is it? Is am I the only one that feels like for some reason I'm just not casually clicking an academics video? Have, um, that's why I was asking because like, of the battle. Because of like the biggest thing to no, happen in hip hop. No, stop bringing that up. I'm just saying <laughs> after that. the battle and before the battle, it's different. What the fuck, bro? Leave it alone, yeah, yeah. dude. Hey, it's on, nothing bro. to do with the battle. I'm like, damn, <laughs> stop bro. bringing that shit up, man. Yeah. I'm just saying, post the battle, breathe it. That's it. It's nothing to do with the actual. Nigga battle. told me to save it, David. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you how I feel. Just, just let me listen to you. <laughs> it's not that. All right. Leave it. Poetic Flacco ran down on MJTV when he was on uh, No Jumper doing a music stream with Brick Baby Lush. Somebody else. I don't know who the other person was. I guess it doesn't really matter. Flacco came in there and he wanted that fade. And no, he didn't. Flacco didn't want the fade. Is what you're saying? He didn't want that fade. Okay, talk to me. I don't think so, really. Like when you when you listen to, I it, asked him if it was real. He said yes. He called me a rapist. That was real as hell. Oh well, he was probably upset about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but first of all, why did the screen go black? That was way too timely. Why yeah. have we seen to every not other say fight? It was fake. Why have we seen every Legal other fight reasons. on camera? Yeah, pretty much. Was it yeah. live? It was live. It was oh, like yeah. so they who yeah they was just quick they was witty with it, it. was quick yeah. they was witty with it so is that is that the standard going forward because they weren't doing this before well basically we right well, the Kelsey thing on. didn't come out for like a month and apparently um, I saw this on Reddit I don't know anything about the law but if that video would have came out he could have sued Adam. And it could have had some repercussions on some other people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. would have just been a whole debacle. Like that type of violence on camera, like live. And for sponsorships, you gotta be faster on the trigger overall. Like for something like that, future sponsorships. Like Adam is, he's about quality now. You know what I mean? What is this thumbnail right there? Where that nigga looks like he's he's being hostile. Hmm. A sauce walker sharp- crashes out on sharp. What? No, that that was. Um, is that a joke? That was. Uh, yeah. It's like clickbait. It was a good interview though. It's clickbait. Yeah, it's clickbait. Oh, oh okay. He actually doesn't crash out. On he him. doesn't actually crash out, okay. but. We could stay on Sharp because I feel like that's his lane. Well, of no, nigga. we gotta, we gotta but do the uh, we gotta, we, But with thing. Flacco, um, yeah, nah, I, I can encourage tone statement. You want to continue with that? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, there's a link we're gonna watch. It's the first one. The oh no, not MJTV. No, not that one. We, we'll, we'll get to this nigga later. I know what you're talking about. The one where Flacco uh, this one. Can't I can't remember the last time oh, I really one. yeah needed to Yo, fight a nigga. Oh, first of all. I watched this video yeah. a thousand times. Yeah. This shit was just funny as hell. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. Nigga, of course. I, I saw the way uh, MJ like just squared up. He was just like, <laughs> Yo, come on, nigga, come on. Yeah. But crazy. then but then I saw the video from the other angle the other and I'm angle. like, he could have just stood still. Like there was nothing yeah, there was nothing. Yeah, yeah. Why are you squaring up like that? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. he's next to him. I watched it so many times that I got to see everybody's reaction to this shit. Like, let's start it was a game until yeah. Flacco did something. And then yeah. Brick, oh, Brick was on time the whole time. He's like, oh, shit, watch out for the camera, nigga. Yeah. Let's play it. Insider. Insider. Yeah, they know insider. LA know. Yeah, yeah. LA, yeah, yeah. yeah. We out of town. Yeah. Yeah. BSP 60s forever yeah. bad. You know I mean? But regardless, but dope artist. And that's dope. I, mean, I knew it was that's that's already. Dope. Dope. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah, 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 yeah no. Yeah. I, like I said, I was just joking. Yeah, I was no, joking. Hey, Brick's my homie, and I'll do a song with BSG tomorrow. You feel me? Get your buddy. Yeah. This shit, the industry. It's time to know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about his stance? Man, <laughs> does he look ready? That's a nigga that's not ready. Does he look ready? Man, in the MMA fucking octagon? <laughs> no, sir, nigga. <laughs> no, sir. Shit. Well, he officially. That front leg looked very he, 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 he go crazy in the loading screen. Yeah, in the loading screen. Uh, that's crazy. On, yeah, nigga sure. on, on the, the loading screen. The loading screen. Def Jam fight but he, for Adam. But he, then he, they ended up outside and he essentially ran from him. 
For oh, real? really? Yeah, oh, I saw yeah, Cause yeah. I was trying to get what actually happened, so he yeah. just runs away, and then Flacco comes back upset about it. And then he Flacco leaves, leaves the interview. And then Flacco leaves, and then he comes back, and he's like, bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, I ran from Flacco. Because, like, I'm going to be a man, and he'll beat my ass. But he was popping crazy shit. He was oh talking mad God. shit. He was like, bro, I'll beat the shit out of you. Like, he was popping crazy. Uh, popping crazy talk. But the dude, MJTV, is fucking... He's 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 strange. Yeah, I he's like that really other strange. Clip. Uh, uh, go to the other angle of uh, the Flacco joint, though. That was crazy. This is where it felt like he didn't really want to fade or not. One. I don't think Flacco was scared, but I don't know how. Bad. I just if Flacco's you, the only person we've seen tr- like really offer the fade out at no jumper recently in the last like two years, low key. Because the other niggas shoot didn't whack off of him. <laughs> We, I feel like Flock is the only person we've seen really like press like press some sh- like when he's ready to go. It's like everybody else is just like more wolfing and barking and uh, clip moments. It well, depends because so that big. one nigga spit on him. Yeah, that dude did spit. Yeah. And Flocko's so big he can't stop his momentum. Like once it's over, it's over. <laughs> yeah. Gravity is his enemy. Shout out to the security guard. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we outside, bitch. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Bro, we outside, bitch. Come on. Bro. We outside, bitch. Come on. Come on. This nigga skinny as fuck. Oh, shit. Come on. Bro, ain't no cameras. Come on. Okay. Go across the street. Come on, bro. Come on. Guess, Flacco did real. seem angry. Yeah. yeah. I think he could have won. He was so angry as voice. That nigga didn't stand a chance. Bro, Flacco got him by a clean 100 pounds. If All he had to do was sit on him. It depends, and though. More. It depends. All he had to do is sit on. It depends. If you know what you're doing, that weight can be, fight against you. It could. But that, it but could the snap other, your ribs. The other nigga was literally running from him. Yeah. He ran from him. Go. Uh, I don't think he understands weight distribution. Yeah. Go to uh, go to the note. Let me see. Flacco did he'll oh, work yeah, out. This, this is crazy. Click that. Just hearing that nigga talking hella shit. This is after. See, this is after, I think... The dude already like admitted I ran from him, so Brick is like, "Nigga, shut the fuck up." You yeah, know what I'm you, saying? Yeah, like, no more rights. Yeah, you lost your rights. Fuck a no jumper, wait, 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 fool. Here's your hoodie, fool. Here's your hoodie. Patrick's out there, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Man, oh man, I, I literally don't even know where to begin right now. But no jumper, you know we turn it up. <laughs> There's some experience in here, you know. It's, it's, it's I fuck with it for sure, yeah. You look faggot too, and you a bitch, nigga. I, I, bro, I promise you, bro. Listen, I promise you, I'm gonna do it to you when I see you again. I, I promise I'm gonna do it to you, nigga. I'm gonna have it on me. Ah, come on. You talking the wrong talk? Nah, man. nah. As soon as Stick Talk came into play, he's yeah, like, got up. Yeah. Now I gotta go talk to this <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, Look, nah. nigga, you wanna talk that Stick Talk, what's up? You know what yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Cause he don't do <laughs> he that said, by Cause you, are, we <laughs> yeah. all, you already, you just ran from him, bro. Yeah. Now you calling my phone. Yeah, now you talking about fucking, you got, I'ma have it on me and shit. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, let's but the just... MJ, the MJ TV dude, uh, he's a strange he's a guy. Weirdo, man. We can click that first one. Yeah, he I was, watched this. He was mad at us. Uh, at us? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. We didn't we covered him. He covered us while we were out there in LA. So when we was out there, after I went to the community clips, apparently uh that sparked a big issue because he had been asking AD to come on go on community for a long time. And the fact that me and some random niggas that just started covering No Jumper yesterday were allowed to go up to community when he's been there and asking for it is fucked up and AD's been playing them and shit like that and all this other stuff. But yeah, we can just go ahead and listen and watch this. Right. Actually, don't put him on the screen. I don't know what type of nigga this is. Right, Actually, I do it to know what type of nigga it is. Don't put him on the screen. For sure. Yeah. I seen a video the other day. He's like, AD, what's up? You got the people on there? And I and I read it to you verbatim what I wrote. Yeah, that's my point. You brought AJ and the menace material niggas. Nigga. AD, bro. Do you remember what you told me when we met? Do you remember the conversation we had? Do you not remember the DMs that we have over a year? I'm not entitled. That's cool. I'm not entitled, bro. But don't DM me telling my bro, I see you working. I see you doing it, bro. Keep pushing it. Keep it. That's hard work. And then you're going to bring some niggas that just, just started covering No Jumper News yesterday. 
Nah, bro, you a part of that gatekeeping shit. You a part of that blackballing shit too, bro. Y'all don't want to see me win. Y'all liked when I was sleeping out my car and niggas was taking jokes and taking jabs at me. Now I'm on the 22nd floor and, and, and now you want to gang up with them. You should be proud of me, AD. You know how what you met me in, nigga. You met me in a 2005 Toyota Camry with two spare tires on it. Nigga, I had groceries from Instacart that I was delivering when I pulled over my car and saw you on Melrose. You remember the conversation we had? <laughs> Somebody ice Are you going to let up. niggas play with my brand like that? <laughs> Seriously, AD? You told me when you were my age, you were living with your grandmother. And for you to move different states, MJ, and live out your car and chase your dreams, I'm beyond proud of you. I got you. I'm going to bring you out no jumper. I'm going to put on. I got you. This is what you told me out of your mouth, and you letting this weak-ass stay-at-home dad influence you to diss me? Do y'all were, were y'all not my age at one point? Oh, no, no. The T-Rail nigga was too busy selling the house that his grandmother left in his her family. The matriarch of his family, she left that home there. Okay, so the generation... So, this is annoying as fuck. Yeah. I was... I, I mean... Nigga, I know a bitch I fucked raw that talked just like that about me. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, I mean, uh, yeah. But he's very distraught. Like, yeah. you don't, you, you forgot about me. Like, you didn't care about me. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to bring it up. Um, I was going to add it to the topics. And then I was like, you know what? Why? But it's only relevant now just because the whole Flacco thing. He ran from Flacco. I wouldn't even do this to my father. Like, this nigga, is, it's you, like, you're not proud of me, man. That's fucking hilarious. You're not proud of me that I did his rap. Yeah, you nigga. Can't even you, know I mean? you can't even I, compliment a nigga. Right. Without him. You know, like, literally, me, no, going to me going to community is what set off this fucking rampage. Because there's multiple clips. Mm -hmm. But that is. There's, there's us talking about, that he talked about the homeroom. He talked about the uh, the whole clip. He's, there's like two or three clips dedicated to like where we're mentioned and sprinkled in there. How old is he? He doesn't even look old, like young enough to keep pulling that card. It's yeah, like, yeah I I'm a young and you remember. I don't was, know, but he does not seem young enough to pull that card. He, he doesn't, doesn't feel look like, that young. Because you can only pull that card at like 22 and under. 22 like 18, and under. Eight, yeah, 22 and under. And he gives me 26 or 27. 28. Least. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. You're supposed, you're supposed to be proud of me. Have me up there. You told you no. Yeah. I was doing Instacart. It's like, yeah. come on, bro. And this is and this is the sad part. He's so not likable. That's his <clears> biggest <throat> issue. That's the thing. Bro. He's not likable. No. And yeah. he's not stupid. I watched a couple other clips outside of the ones talking about us because I'm like, let me just hear what this nigga got to say. You mm. know what I'm saying? I'm like, he's not an idiot. He's pretty. He seems like he's pretty smart. Pretty cocky. But, but it's also he's so unlikable that it's like it will work good on a. Um, in terms of like a personality on YouTube, but like niggas don't want to collab. Niggas actually don't want to hang out with you though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. like I don't want to be around a nigga that's uh, like he's a, he's like this a lot. Yeah, and it, that it depends, seems like if right? a girl give him his number, he's expecting pussy. One of those, like just yeah, immediately. Yeah, don't you know what I've been through? Like, you're supposed to give me pussy over what I've been through. Come on, baby. This yeah, is my struggle. yeah, like on my body. I used to have. Two donuts on my car. Like now I'm on the 22nd floor. The whole 22nd floor shit has got. He got. It's like it's weird. Yeah. He went from two spares to the 22nd floor. He's really entitled. It's really strange. Moving that's on, that's that what type it, of vibe. that's what it is ultimately though. He just comes across as entitled. Like people owe him a bunch of shit because yeah. he struggled. And that's not how struggle works. <laughs> Bro, what yeah. nigga? Did you not yeah. watch Pursuit of Happiness? Right. Nobody owed Will Smith shit, nigga. And you niggas just started covering No Jumper yesterday. How the fuck did you get up on these platforms? This is, just, mm -hmm. this is, this is ridiculous. Yeah, you stay at home dead. They talk yeah. about this in the Bible somewhere. <laughs> they talk about this. Like, nigga, just have patience and God will give you the fruits of your labor. And he's, and really, you like, and he's really like fighting demons. He's Muslim because like he had one moment where he was like... Hey, he's Muslim? Was, he's Muslim because he was like, yo, you was talking shit about me during Ramadan. Oh, yeah, and I that. couldn't respond. But Ramadan's over. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh shit. All the like, Muslims. He's, yeah, he's, he's going through a lot. All the Muslims in the comments, please correct me, but isn't there a law where it's saying that men shouldn't show the lower half of their legs? At Ooh. least in New York, there's a lot of Muslims that follow that idea. The to wear, wear pants. Wait, to wear men pants can't wear pants? Swartz, uh, shorts. Swartz. Yeah, they can't wear shorts. Like, they have to wear. Pants. Pants or a robe or oh, okay. some well, type of garment. At least the laws go for both genders because, you know. We only ever hear about what the Muslim women have to exactly. go through. Exactly. Pretty much like the hijab, the yeah. whole thing, yeah. 
But I was just saying I that. I know Dubai, like certain countries are like that. Like, I don't know though. Mm-hmm. I was just saying that he looks nothing about that resembles a Muslim. He has he's a African. slash on his bicep, nigga. He's that can't be Muslim. He's African. Yeah, he is. Oh my god. He, he said he's the he said he's the voice of Africa. Yeah. He did. He also said God is in him and you can't talk to God like that. Yeah, he's a little crazy. He's battling yeah. on he's battling. You think he's a little uh, Napoleon? No. Napoleon. Yo, uh, you you said the most I don't know. You said the most interesting shit about like a Napoleon complex at one point in time. Like, I forgot what we was talking about, but you was like, if a nigga who had that same mentality was six foot six, we would just say he's competitive. Oh yeah, that's but true. But the fact that he's short and acts that way is, yeah, uh, is Napoleon yeah, that's complex. True. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> if. <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's a, it's a this huge nigga, he's if. so weird, bro. Man, I don't even. And I, he's not like. It, I, what's his origin story? I feel like we need to like look at his past to see his just origin. how he got to it, here. It was rough, Two donuts. Bro. Two donut cars. Somebody's ice cream melted while he was talking to AD. <laughs> 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 he loves the Ace Boys, though. Word. Yeah. He be on Ace Boy uh, puns. Meat, low-key. Do they let him on the show? Nope. Oh. He just supports them from afar. Damn, man. And it's like, I kind of... Shit. I kind of feel bad for him a little bit somehow. I don't know where. I do feel bad for him, honestly. There's, there's an underlying level of, like, you should feel bad in this. No, I I there's just, I think that's why I, I didn't even put it on the thing. He started, like, commenting on, like, even when I had talked to T-Rail, he was, like, the first person to comment, like, AJ, apologize. Uh. And then I started liking his comments, and he was, like... Just like just liking all the dumb comments, and he's don't like, give him any positivity. He doesn't. Yeah, I can't because then he was <laughs> yeah. like, "Oh my god, I can't believe you're liking these." Like it's yeah. like he takes this shit. He followed me after he saw me pop up somewhere, and then he unfollowed me within like 24 hours. <laughs> it's like shit like that. Like he's just a weirdo, you know. Like he's just going yeah. through shit. So sporadic. But I will say that, like, if, if he was talking all that shit, but running from poetic Flacco, I got to chase his ass and held him right there. Flacco, come over here and get this nigga. Because he was talking hella shit about you would've, Flacco. You would have chased him if you was Flacco? <laughs> no, nah, somebody if, else. If, <laughs> no, I think you said if, if he was I, there. If I was there, because I've seen the videos, this nigga been, he talked crazy about Paul and Flacco. Yeah. And so, and, and you talk crazy enough to where it's like, you said it's on site when I see you, but now you're running? No, no, no. I'm, I'll chase you to hold you down. Yeah. No, nigga, y'all have to fight because you did too much, my nigga. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, but uh, that message that Flacco posted on his story, it made it seem like the guy he was about to fight was like a way bigger threat. Because I saw that and then saw the video. He's like, I'm tired of these gangbangers hiding behind a hundred niggas pretending yeah. they hard. Then when I saw the guy, I was like, damn. <laughs> Why are you picking on him, Flacco? Yeah, like stop bullying this kid, Flacco. What the fuck? You can't eat him, Flacco. <laughs> T. Rell said, uh, said, I hope he starves. Fla- who, <laughs> Flacco? No, this nigga. I'm about to say, that'd take a long time. That, right, it would. <laughs> Say hope he hope he starved. Jesus. I think that's it. It was pretty funny. Uh let's go to these office hours. Boom. Office hours part of the show. We answer your questions or concerns. Yeah. And if you gotten to this point in the show, <laughs> make sure you like it uh like the video and leave your office your uh office hours. Good, Hashtag right? office hours. Yeah, it's called being tired. Thanks for calling now, Dick. But <laughs> let's get into these office hours. Um, that was rude, Lord. Got Come a couple. On, we got a couple good ones. Y'all been leaving paragraphs, man. I can't say this anymore. We love paragraphs with periods and commas and things of that nature, or at least some emojis keep us, in, you know, interested. Not interested. Keep the mind flowing while we're reading. It, but <laughs> this, hashtag, this avatar is fucking wild. Yeah, I, I think about I it want every that time. to be him. I, I, just, I, really I mentally make it him, even though yeah, I know it's probably not. But yeah, I wish it. I hope it is him, though. Hashtag go off as I was loving the new set. Still hate how comfortable you guys are wearing shorts on camera, but I can survive. Big pause. There's a slight hiss on the audio in this episode. Listening to you guys on the on the Sonos. I don't know what that is. Sonos really amplifies really it. Really amplifies That's it. That's a speaker. Or get yeah. Parks to master the audio. First of all, how, don't disrespect our white man by calling him another white man's name. His, mm-hmm. his name is white man. On yeah. the boards. The secondly, thing, every time. Secondly, y'all don't even know this. Lauren was upset when he heard about this hiss. Like, yeah. We came well, I knew into- about this hiss before he said anything. I was upset that, like, reading comments like that always upsets you when you already know, like, something. <laughs> you know, it sir. pisses you off because I'm like, you <laughs> son of a bitch, I know. Yeah. You fucking bitch. You I don't mean that to you, Casey. No, I don't no, mean that. No, that's like, does. That's like the sentiment you that do. you have in your head. Like, 
Like, duh, yeah. nigga, I knew that shit already. <laughs> yeah, but nah, yeah, Lord yeah. came in the studio yeah. the other day. He was like, yo, nigga, y'all been hearing this hiss? He's like, yeah. yo, what, the, uh, what hiss, nigga? I listen. I'm like, yeah, nigga, that's not good. Lauren fixed it, though. Yeah. Lauren fixed that shit lickety split. I didn't I didn't say, have you heard the hiss? I was just like, yeah, man, this fucking hiss. I was just mm-hmm. talking about the shit. But yeah, I, I, <laughs> the first time it came up, I ordered a piece, and it just didn't come. And once it came, I fixed it. Yeah. I have a question. Why, why, is, why do the men get so bothered when we wear shorts? Did you? Where is that? You didn't. That was L O Y, right? Nah, that was that was homeroom. I think that was that home was homeroom. Room? Yeah, what? yeah. When um a dude commented, that's, he that's was comment, like, you yeah. know, um, Jay Nobles and Styles questioned my sexuality. Yeah, that's what he said. Whoa, uh, yeah. what? I missed yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That was L O Y. That was L O Y. No, it was homeroom. I'll it go was homeroom. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'll go find. Nigga, no, I'm talking about where we reacted. to. I know it was L O Y. You reacted on L O Y. That's why he does homeroom. It was a homeroom. Um. Comment. Comment. So we do have to address this here. Yeah, we comment. have to address this here. Yeah, what's up with that shit? Yo, he's flirting with our viewers. He's turning Yo, them out. It was. It's just one dude. No, it's they hate when all of us wear shorts. No, but it's specifically what well, this that, guy well, said. That dude in particular for what sure. What this guy right. said about his knees. But isn't it just interesting how many of it's the men that comment on the shorts? Right. Because does it make him that uncomfortable to see that? What this nigga said about me, I didn't. I you was like, yo. Getting, you keep getting sexualized by men on this show. I keep, I mean, hey man, I keep yeah. turning these niggas on. God damn it. You gay bait. Fuck. That is kind of crazy. What's yeah, that's that weird. Shit? That's that's weird on them, right? Well, not because you're homosexual. It's weird that you keep getting targeted. Yeah, you specifically. Because I'm the leader. I'm the sexiest. Lauren, can we find this goddamn yo, comment? Yeah, he's a, yeah, yeah, he's come on. Back. Slow down. We, First of all. We, oh, we oh you don't like being yeah. rushed? I don't like being called out that I'm tired. Well, I don't like the fact that you just confidently said you're the sexiest. Like, you've thought about it. Yeah. Why? I, well, like, would you rank this all? No, I didn't even you, think about y'all. You compared to get like trash? how a real man should. You just 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 oh, say blanket oh statements my. about how you look. That's <laughs> probably, that's maybe that's what it is. It's it's really personality. That's what you, that's what you should do as a man. It's you real, just it's, it's really I look good. <laughs> <laughs> I look great. <laughs> Fuck it. Maybe it's personality. Maybe it's him like doubling down on because I'm the most superior man thing. Oh that, shit! Like yeah, that really like it's the personality. What if? What if? Random, by the way. Okay. I have the best legs in the room. Whoa. That's gay. That's gay. Stand on it, then, nigga. Sta- stand in it. <laughs> Shit. Work it. Ooh, I mean, you might. It. I don't know. We would have to put a poll in. But this is what I'm saying. But I'm the nigga no. who thinks, no, this is AJ. You no, think he want to be the best. No, no I don't. Man. But this is the thing, well, bro. You got the best knees but this in here, thing, my nigga. Bro. But this is the thing. It's weird. Stop. Be- don't it's say weird that. because be it's weird because like out of all the shorts and legs comments, it is me. But at first ma- it was you though. It kinda, he wears shorts the most. No, really? but I it, like well, I mean, you wear shorts pretty often, but yeah. he lets his shorts get crazy. Like he he never does quick adjustments in the middle of the pod. Oh, yeah, he just let them ride up. It's like you flirting. But Look, okay, here we go. Read, this is read, a long as fuck. Read too. Your yes. best. That, that is kind of long, AJ. You mind? Oh uh, yeah. All right, and uh, we're gonna shout you out for sure. Endless, Say his name. Endless Meese. Um, I'm a longtime viewer of No Jumper Connoisseur of all the lore and extreme hater of Flacco. Dot, dot, dot. I'm now quickly becoming a regular follower of your content as you offer a very unique perspective of every issue you dissect. However, I cannot in good faith grant you my hard earned for everyone sub until homeboy on the far right shows up in pants or shorts the extent beyond the knee that extend beyond the knee. I get that the atmosphere is relaxed and focused. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's an idea being passed back and forth and clear, compelling discussion between you three. I applaud and commend it. But every time the camera cuts and homie assaults my heterosexuality and all interest and purpose, what? Wait, uh, and, uh, for all intents and purposes, and for all intents and purposes, speedo, I am immediately ripped from my immersion in in the discussion. Is subsequently filled with the ire, ire due to Buddy's lack of self awareness. Pants, wear pants on camera, please. You are scarring my soul, and I want to invest in this channel. That last Any man was all caps. who says <clears throat> you're assaulting my heterosexuality, that's insane. Is he juggles? He's a professional juggler. But you get what I mean? Like camera, he might just be ticklish. But every time the camera cuts, and homes and home. Look, AJ, let me homie. read it for He's you because I know homie. it's kind of blurry. Homie. And homie is the all nigga my said, "Look, I have I have a loving family at home. I know you guys love talking about your current events. Y'all do a great job. 
but I'm secretly gay. And Justin, he, the nigga just keep wearing these shorts and it keep tantalizing my mind. No, but that's his no, problem. No, no, He needs to just... That's not what he said. That is what he said. No, he didn't say he was secretly gay. He said Jay Noble's thighs are making him question. They're making him question. <laughs> 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 nigga, question, nigga. That's not, and you... Tony, what's with the semantics, my nigga? You have to play... Like, you got to understand the role you play in that. You, fl- you wore shorts today. He wore shorts after this message was sent. So uh-huh. now, this is consent. You just consented to flirting. But why is it only the niggas talking about the shit? There's only been like one comment. I uh, screen grabbed it and put it on the thing because it was funny. But like, I've only heard like one or two girls like comment in the history of this show so far on the shorts. Well, it's always the men. The women prefer to DM me personally. They don't want you niggas knowing all that shit. Uh, whatever. But okay. the... So how, many, so how many DMs have you had? About your how many have you responded to? Type of federal question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know, I was really talking no, about no, 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 how many did you? What the fuck? Well, I mean, you yeah. try, you threw yourself yeah. out there like that, like, nigga. What are you? No, okay, wait, wait. I twitter my fingers wait, on that. We, we could have kept it. That comments. is a fucked up question. How many did you respond to before you messaged a girl? I didn't respond to none of them. <laughs> <laughs> how many have you received? Jay said, "This is a fucked up question." Let me add. How many have you received? Once a week, are you getting? Comments uh, on your legs? I'm not. I'm, I'm, apparently, I'm not that sexy. But nah. Who compliments you better? It's never the legs. Who compliments you better? You're the one that put the DMs on the table. So go ahead. But tell because us about your DMs. you was talking about women complimenting us in the comments, and I'm saying I'm it just doesn't saying happen it, in the comments. Okay, it doesn't. It's. I'm saying it's only been two occurrences in the comments that I remember vividly, at least. Nigga, but it's mostly men. Men are aggressive. <laughs> huh? Tell us. It bothers yeah. me more. As. Logically, it makes sense, but keep going on that point. Yeah, what yeah. the fuck? Tell us all about it. I didn't even realize I was stopping your your, your rigor, my brother. Obviously, homosexual men are a little bit more aggressive and upfront about their feelings mm-hmm. towards their sexuality more than women. Hey, tell because me, women one... don't want to look like hoes, but gay men <laughs> don't mind looking like hoes. Don't mind looking like hoes. Uh, he was the one that that gay dude approached when y'all was in that like parking lot together or something. No, well, technically, first of all, he, hold on, real first quick. of all, oh, first of all, real story, quick. no, <laughs> let's, no, Lauren asked me, first of all, Lauren asked no, me because Lauren, Lauren asked me a question, Lauren asked me a question, <laughs> he was shopping for both of us, but he realized that Jay Nobles was flirting with him more, ah, yo, the oh nigga, yo, God. he was like, yo, how tall are y'all, Justin was like, six four, he was like, nah, prove it, Justin stood up, he was like, yeah, six four, and he was like, turn around in the circle, you didn't even realize it, did you, he didn't realize it, <laughs> No, he knew. But you know, he's gay bait. That's what gay bait does. Dude. Gay bait. But and bait. he was there looking, like now, jealous. Laughing. <laughs> he didn't even deny yeah. it. Yeah. Right? And just now, jealous that he didn't get chosen. I and I was like, my- bro, like you can <laughs> have him. Trust me. Didn't get chosen. If that's what I you was want literally, to call it. I was literally. If that's what you choose, yeah. if those are words. Nigga, that you, you sitting there with your legs crossed, <laughs> looking away, to- like. Chosen. I'm like, Tony, every look, time you the camera cuts and homie assaults my sexuality. <laughs> My heterosexuality. Yo, homie <laughs> assaults my head. Nigga, what? Stop you assaulting just, him. You assaulting? Just, leave you just, him alone. You just said you didn't get chose. That sounds vicious. <laughs> yeah, he, he tried to make it seem like he, you would pick me, nigga. Oh, I'm going to pick low me. Key. Low, low key. Key. That low key. Me. Low key. That was pick me. That was pick me. That was pick me. But look at his reach. Look, he's still nah, talking that was, about it. Look at these legs. Hey, look at him. Come on, man. Look, nigga, just do a couple squats. Should we do a poll? Can we do a poll in the live chat? Uh, <laughs> best legs. I don't want to. Yo, this. that would be crazy. That's kind of majority of our audience is doing. This. Why, exactly. why are we doing? We're not this? doing that. That's the only reason why I don't want to do it. But it doesn't so seem. To, it, it, it doesn't seem to bother him though. Because he, he he's in his lane. He knows his audience, <laughs> <laughs> and he's entertaining them. Nigga. I feel like more bigger bugs keep coming in. Here. Yeah, and it's crazy because the studio got better. So fuck. This shouldn't be happening, right? Like, logically speaking, you know, we improve, we should improve. God. You Just don't know progress. nothing about pest control. And that's we almost problem. there, nigga. It's probably that glass panel that's falling out of the garage door right yeah, now. It's, oh, that, <laughs> it's that one. It definitely don't help. <laughs> it definitely doesn't help. <laughs> Yo, we can get robbed. Yo, it's so crazy. Like, we... No, they can't get robbed here. They got another thing coming, coming up in this bitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, Indiana Jones booby they gotta, They got to make it off the property. It's a, it's, yeah. it's not a quick run. Nigga, we got that comic <laughs> book, I'm an automatic <laughs> bow, bow. Yeah, they, it's not a quick run. <laughs> All right, but let's go to the other. Yeah, nah. Hmm. Yeah, you niggas that keep bringing up the shorts in the comments just coming off gay as hell. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's really what I'm trying to wrap it up with. It's, it's gay as fuck. <laughs> I've never watched a podcast and been like, yeah, let me comment on how short this nigga shorts are. That shit's gay. Yeah. Or, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Or even that? even if it was 
Make it a joke. Clown them. You make it a joke. You right. make it a, Yeah, make it but a joke. But these clown niggas em. is typing soliloquies. They're, they're serious. This yeah, nigga yeah, yeah. is assaulting <laughs> how I feel. And, yeah. I, and I think that nigga was trying to make a joke. It just wasn't that great of one. You, we might have to go back to a, a random episode where we're all wearing shorts to see how egregious it gets like, like later into the episode. This is today. Because what I'm thinking happens is that like niggas start, episode. I'm thinking niggas start sinking deep into the couch and then the shorts just start to rise. That up. definitely happens. That definitely and used to happen. That and I think it goes. Happens. I think it goes. No, it goes on others, and that's on us to notice. Okay. You know what I mean, okay. I normally stand up at least halfway through to readjust, and then it's <clears throat> slowly whatever. I'm All right. Have you guys grown? Oh, you guys have grown a lot. Congratulations. Will there be an episode one hundred special? What episode are we at now? Sixty-seven. No. Yeah, for sure. Uh, special as in like. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by special, but just something no, you, you more, sprinkles more extravagant than us standing here. Yes, for yeah, sure. Yeah, something probably. more important will happen than <laughs> a typical show. Yeah, 40 weeks from now. You know, episode 100, that's going to be insane. But uh, hashtag office hours. Jay, keep defending yourself, even though you are already in the grave. It makes for great co- podcasting. Also, I do, I do the same, but I know when I'm wrong. I just want to annoy the other person at that point. I, Nuts, so at least give some context to what you're talking about. But thank you. He's talking, about, he's the, talking, he's about. talking about the comedy set. Oh, oh, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I, I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, it makes for great <laughs> podcasting. Um, <laughs> Damn, I thought he was for, talking about all the time. I thought he was talking about all the time. I thought, yeah. I, I mean, mean it, the. This is consistent. It's, it's consistent. This, it's so it's like, because usually when you're this great, you have two to this. three niggas trying to get you. You got to fight back in certain he said ways. Your delusionalist is amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. what he just that's said. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's pretty much. I don't know if you read that, that, but he said <laughs> that's what he yeah, said. He you being delusional is what makes for good podcasts. That's kind of yeah, like what, what AJ says. likes. Like he 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 wants a good crash up. Yeah, no, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. No, g- uh. good logic sometimes look magical, and you can confuse it for delusion. But that's not what happens. That, I give good take. He did it again. What are you talking about? But you know, you know why he's so good at it. Because no, he nigga. does it to himself. Yeah, yeah. like this is like this is his mental framework. It's like yeah. it's a bunch of dumbass justifications. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wish I had a laugh track like that every time I said something. Fuck, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, nigga. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> man, man, fuck you too, nutso. I don't even New care so. if you do it the same. New so. But shout out to you, man. Um. Really appreciate you. Uh, at Michael Solis. I don't know why I read that name. But shout out to y'all. Hashtag Office Hours. Um, question for the menace. What is the lifespan for a good podcast? I believe three to seven years. Like AJ, my favorite podcast is when people talk about the business of podcasts. Nerd. Lately, I've been hearing <laughs> a lot more podcasters talk about firm stopping dates or hints of that they're not planning on continuing for much longer. What is your thoughts on the matter? Mm. That's cool because it sounds like they're starting to treat it more like it's a series. Mm. Yeah, that and might series be series usually have ended dates. Or the uh the season thing. Yeah, same thing. The se- series, yeah, season. series yeah. or season thing. Yeah. I guess uh because uh I feel like I started watching podcasts on no on um Loudspeaker, all those podcasts felt like forever to me. So I don't know what the actual <laughs> lifespan of a good podcast. You know what I'm Nick saying? Nick said like, lifespan of a good podcast. You know, like, but that is true though because, or I think, or he might be saying like the peak years. The peak years, yeah. So, so like three to seven, it does feel like most good podcasts, even if they are on ten years, there was like a strong ass three to seven for sure. Mm-hmm. I do agree with that. I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like yeah. there's 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 definitely that. And that's what made them who they are. Like, yeah. you know, you kind of like TV free. shows too. Like real good, real good shows and series. They don't really. They are usually great for forever. three to seven seasons. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, I feel like it's more three to five. Like strong three. Cause shit. Uh, I mean, I know we're trying to said the TV thing, but it made me think of The Office. What was The Office? Ten seasons. Seven, I think at least eight. twelve. I think that eleven, like 12. 12. Like eleven, eight. twelve. Nah. Is it about eleven? Was it? Look nah. it up. Nah. Office is like eight. I think. We can look it up. Sorry. That was crazy, actually. That shit was crazy. Nigga, you need to go take a shit. But it, <laughs> like, it happened, so fa- it happened so fast, I couldn't, like, you know, like, nine, do nothing about nine, it. Nine, yeah, nine. nine. Okay, nine. And they had a solid seven. <laughs> yeah, and they, they had right. a great seven. They had a great, they had a solid yeah. seven. Even yeah. though this is not podcasting, the TV yeah, nah, thing made me think of this. They yeah. fucked up the last two seasons of this shit. It was the last two, so seven. They yeah. made, uh, what's that nigga? Jim. Uh, Jim all Jim's no. dreams came true. They, Honestly, you might be right about that three to seven because, uh... Even if the show is more successful in year 10 and 11, it might not even be what was built or the foundation in those three to seven either. 
But you know a lot I mean? of these niggas, like, it might not even be the same co-hosts. Change. I'm talking about if the same people stay. That's what I'm speaking for. Mm. Um, like, I'm speaking for, like, um, uh, if like the Breakfast Club, if <clears throat> Angela Yee and all them were still there, but, like, Charlemagne changed his, he went PC to God. So it's, like, seven years he was unhinged, and then yeah, these last uh, year eight through 11, it's just not the same. It doesn't hit, make you want to tune in as much. You know what I'm saying? But it's the same show. And my thing is, like, I'm trying to, he's asking this question as if, like, yeah, he's talking about podcasts, but you could switch this with like a rapper. Like he's asking this in like the a rapper's term. Like, how long is a good career for a rapper? You know what I mean? Like podcasting yeah. is different, but I, I feel awkward. like I guess we can say it, all creative things. In a it's way. look. I feel we like were, podcasting. We were talking about uh, TV earlier, Drew. It's coming to a point where it's getting like commerci- commercialized to the point where it's it's almost on the same level as being a like a rapper. You know what I mean? Like everything just eventually dies. Like, even um, Joe Rogan, he on what, like, episode damn near 3,000? Oh, yeah. People yeah, talking about the quality name been the same. And it's yeah. a couple That's outliers. What happens. Yeah, and, and then, it, you know, it just depends. Three years. I wonder if, I can't think of any podcasts I watched for three years and then it just went away. Really? <clears throat> Brilliant idiots. Uh, this, it's not gone. No, no, they're on, like, 11 years, though. But, yeah. Well, they're... I feel like they we we're talking about peak podcasting for a minute. When, when you said that, that's why I was saying three to five. Well, they, yeah, he was saying, but he also said, "What's the lifespan?" Yeah, I guess that's just a lifespan. The lifespan. Is I, was, open, I was going off open of what and y'all were shop. saying. Yeah, I was going off of what y'all were saying with the peak years. Yeah, I added I that shit for some reason. I don't know why. When he's asking, he's he's actually talking about open and closing shop. Oh, okay, well, where it just went away yeah, for sure. I, I, shit, <clears> I don't even know. That, I, don't, I don't know. It's different for How all long of them. was the, uh, yeah, I guess all of, the only ones. How long did the friendships last? That's important, too. Because <laughs> yeah, like, okay, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of these are like, com- yeah, just commercial setups. Yeah. Like, man, big conglomerates. Like, yo, get you, get you. Talk That's a really niggas. interesting question, honestly. Mm-hmm. I did think about that earlier this week, and I still can't come to a real answer. I don't know if I know enough podcasts that have ended in three to seven years. No, I don't think so. Like, uh, <laughs> some, of them, some of them that I watch are... They're still going. I just might not find them as good as I used to. That's all. Like, what you think the lifespan from um, the Desus and Mero and um, Mellow Pod is? I feel like that has a good <laughs> three years. You put all three of them niggas in there. Desus and Mero and Mellow. Yeah, yeah why you put Mero. all of them Damn, my bad. It, they so well connected. Mer- Mer- Mero Mellow. Yeah. Mero Mellow. I don't know. That podcast is way better than when it That's was crazy. when he it first never, started, though. You can never escape that nigga. Have y'all seen that recently? Yeah. I saw uh, who was just on there that I was watching. Somebody important was on there. I think yeah. well, I, I mean, do remember somebody important. Somebody's being always on there. important on there because that's all they there, do. But, yeah, you know what I mean. It's way better though. I remember when we first, when I was first harshly <clears throat> critiquing it, they were only in like two episodes deep. That was but pretty. shout out to Malik. <clears throat> and um, oh, they asked they asked another question too, didn't they? Uh, I don't think so. Check. It's all right. Stay there. Stay there. It's okay. And shout out to Malik and uh, nigga. Somewhere, let me know what job that we used to work at together. Because he said, I remember him saying that shit. I don't remember what job it was. But uh, hmm. I'm going to put one of the hashtag offers I was here. I know most people don't like when y'all talk about music for the most part, laugh aloud. But do y'all think the Drake Kendrick beef was missing them dissing each other on their own beats? If Drake were to drop a verse on Control or Remix Humble, maybe he could have had a better chance. Or Kendrick rapping on Mob Ties or putting a verse on First Person Shooter. <coughs> Would that, would that have changed anything? Also, besides the rap beef we just seen between the light skin and the dark skin, which other beef did y'all pay attention to or call y'all interest? Royce versus Lupe was crazy with Mikey Fax jumping in too. Mickey. It was wild, Mickey. Tori and Joyner was also pretty interesting. Finally, should J. Cole go at Ye or get at anybody that tries to play with his name or can he not do that anymore since he stood down when the boogeyman came out? That is funny. Uh, that, that would be... <laughs> I don't know why he didn't think of that because that is some Lil Wayne shit and that is his mentor. Like, I feel like if Lil Wayne got dissed and he, he felt like it was on. good, it's like, all right, I'm going to just take your beat, diss you on the beat that you dissed me on, nigga. It's, I'm not gonna lie. it's a double whammy. I don't think it would have worked for Drake. I think the people, yeah, a lot felt- of the people who think Drake lost also don't even understand the, rule, the rules of how to win in a rap beef. <clears throat> so if he would have hopped on the Kendrick song, they would have spun that. It's like, yo, he he using the nigga beat. He can't even get on his well, own. Well, 42 beat, you know, sick to make a beat. beat. Yeah. It would have worked like, on the Like That record. It seemed like it was a yeah. on Like That. If that was the first like comeback. Too soon. 
that was the first too soon. strike. If that was the first strike, and they if they came out, if Kendrick did that verse on Like That, and then his first strike back was uh, a Like That diss record straight to Kendrick and all the You know, that honestly, I don't, I don't think I don't think it would I don't think it would have ever worked at all because it never would have. Their their beef was never playful. Like Joyner mm. Lucas, it's funny that you said Joyner Lucas and Tory Lanez because I just watched that. I just uh, there's a video on YouTube with all the tracks so they had back and forth with each other um, on one long track and I just watched that shit. I just listened to that like a month ago. They were maybe. going off. Right, they were going crazy but they were going back on they would pick the same beat Tory would rap on the same beat. That's yes. rap. Yeah, but that was more fun like It was more of a battle. Yeah, that was it was That's a rap battle. Yeah. No, no, no. That was that's more of a sparring. That was That's sparring. what I mean by battle. Like you're literally sparring battling. Sparring is not battle. A battle of wits. It's a competition. It, I'm, when I say battle, I'm thinking that yeah. like this is like a real like you bring your Beyblade, I bring my Beyblade. Let's see who wins. It's, not, it's, a battle, it's not, not personal. Beef. This it's isn't a, battle, a beef. beef. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, I don't think bringing out any of those any humble yeah. it, that would have been whack. I think they that would have been a you might as well shoot yourself. Honestly, that's crazy. I really like, that's I like, like that. that. And and that and the Drake and Kendrick shit. If they would have tried one of those. That would have been the craziest L for themselves. Like they would have gained, they gave themselves that L. Would have ruined the the best yeah. rap beef in history. Y'all really don't think like that? If he jumped on like that with a with a just a strong verse right off the rip, like quickly, there, just a, he, just to like that beat, that shit was hard. That would have been hard made, if he made that shit hard and made that song hard, bro. That could have went crazy. You know what would have been harder if he hopped on the control beat. Uh, I think that'd have been worse. I think that'd have been worse. Nah. I think I think what I think AJ's saying been comes into play like with beat. every record except for like that. I think that would have been better beginning. than the like that beat, but because it's got it's, it's got it's it's so much time in between. What's wrong with the like that beef is that it's like it just looks. It's kind of like if Adam would have interviewed the dude right when he got out, versus eleven months later. It's something about how the timing affects how we interpret what's going on. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like that beat would have been crazy. We were able to see it, but I don't know. Right now, I just feel Bing, like it Bing. just wouldn't have worked. Yeah, none anybody. of that shit would have worked, man. You would have lost Leak. Uh, <laughs> size rap beef. The Royce and the Lupe one, honestly, like, I literally went through all this. So the same day that I watched the Tory, I listened to the Tory, uh, Tory and Joyner. I listened to the Royce and Lupe. That shit was a, that shit was amazing, the Lupe shit. It was, mm -hmm. he, he cooked that nigga uh, Royce. That shit was, a, that shit was amazing. Uh, yeah, and I, I do mean, really do wish that J. Cole, after he bowed out, and then Ye tried to talk shit, I wish he took Ye's head off during that time period. I really do. I think that would have been 100% acceptable. Damn. I think so. Go at it what with a grandmaster. Uh, after he said, I'm bowing out of the Kendrick and the Drake part, and then Kanye dropped that like that remix, mm -hmm. and it was just fucking lame and I remember. taking shots at J. Cole. I wish Cole would have came out. It was like... I'm not going back with my brothers, nigga. I don't fuck with you, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? And took Cole's head. But would that have undermined yeah, what he did on uh, False Prophets? It wouldn't have. Because he's already took him, he already took his head off on that, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. And I tried to be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I tried to would, be nice about it. Now yeah. you, you know. Yeah, that would have been that would have been a good he like he, remind us that you spanked him already before, but spank him again. Yeah. yeah. But I was polite the first time. Man. Yeah, right, right. It would have been, I don't know, it would have been punching down like you can't beat up the slow kid out the playground. Yeah, you can't make a diss song at, uh, at the mental health kid. Yeah, nah. It's, yeah, it's uh, kind of fucked up. Yeah, he's a mental health kid? Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. You take Kanye West seriously? No, nah, not really. Kanye West is sick. Yeah. And you know what's fucked up? He's been sick. Yeah. We just didn't know. We like, enjoy, even that George we, Bush. We enjoy watching his sickness. Yeah, but it used to benefit us more. It, it used to make us feel proud to be black. Sure now yeah. it's just like, you know. Every so often, though, he drops some fire music, though. I didn't even listen. I listened to Vultures one time. I never went back. Word? Yeah. No, nah, Vultures had some shit on there. I heard. I mean, there's I, several people that I know that listened to a couple drinks Vultures on there, but for some, some yeah, reason, man. I just played through one time, and then that was it. I don't know. It didn't resonate with me for some reason. Well, that, that's, <laughs> that's, like academic that's the stream. greatness of Ye. Like, nigga, a couple years from now, you might just be bored. For sure, because there's there's definitely projects I fuck with Ye, and there's some that I just don't listen to. It's like, yeah, it's same with, like, when some of them artists get to, I mean, these niggas are on, on what? 
eight to ten projects. Nigga, it, 12, if 13 not, for some of more, these niggas. Yeah. There's no way you could like all of them. Yeah. There's no way. It's like. And it's crazy that Kanye has a lot that you could probably like. Yeah. And he that has you a, can make a justification for. It's only like. I was going to say, realistically, he might have he the has, most. He has more that I like. Yeah. First, yeah. For sure, probably. Yeah, he he's one of them that might have like no the duds. most of what you like. Nah, he's got a dud somewhere. No, no duds. Lot. Jesus is king. Oh, and he's definitely got duds, dud. but I'm talking about someone. I think he's just, Lawrence is pretty much saying like the person with the most. The biggest catalog is yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yo, this bro. shit is getting crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Then they keep like attacking too. Yeah. Oh, fuck. They're trying to feed. They're not even mosquitoes. That's the po- that's the shit that's even more annoying. They're just like dumbass little baby moths. moths and yeah. Shit. And they're attracted they're to light. You would think you. they would be. What the fuck is that about? Around the where lights. the light. But yeah. and that's the thing. Maybe I was thinking like, okay, artificial lights, Justin. That 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 has to be the reason. But. I don't know, dog. I think these are just fake bugs. Like, everything is fake Bro, nowadays. that's what I'm co- even more food, confused about because I'm like, why aren't they just up there? They're down here with us. Yeah. What the fuck? Hey, man. Something we doing wrong. Maybe yeah. they like the shorts, too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> have you, gotten, just have you gotten attacked more than everybody free- else? Bro, I've been getting... Probably. I have. Well, no, they're women mobs. Ah! No. Oh. That All one right, let's you? get the fuck out of here. <laughs> did get, wait, wait. Did you just get bit? No, something just landed on me. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Squeamish. Hey, he feel exposed. <laughs> AJ feel exposed. Just close this out. Hey, man. Y'all see what's going on. <laughs> feel violated. Please leave. Yeah, I'm about to say. Yo, one flick my mustache. I was For like, real? come yeah, on, Yeah, this bro. is getting crazy. I don't yeah, know nah. if Buzz can transfer herpes, here, but I don't want to find out. Like the video and check out our Patreon so we can get some pest control niggas up in here. Mm. It's $5, but y'all know that joke. <laughs> it's been good. It's been great. Jay Nobles. Don't rule. AJ the Menace. White man behind the boards. Yeah. And we are out. Crazy. God damn. Now, honestly, I have been getting.